You and our listeners are listening. still changing podcast with Sam Sinclair, Chris Capo, and Akin. Keep it locked. Keep it locked. Bruh. Let me just introduce this song ah. properly. Yeah. <laughs> because it's every spicy in the studio. It's every art too. It's every it's every flavorful. See, the thing is, I was gonna say Yoruba, but my Yoruba is still there. No, 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 you can't say I'm not tribal. What country you guys from? I'm not Nigerian. All Yoruba. Okay, okay. What tribe? All Yoruba. All Yoruba. Yeah. You can't speak Yoruba. Like, do you know is I'm like twenty five percent. I was actually gonna ask you because I know you can you can speak it like. Yeah, but, but I'm self taught, so we're in the same boat. Yeah, no, I'm saying, like, how I'm, I'm how? trying to get there. Like, I'm trying just to Nollywood movies. Oh was, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, the yeah, only yeah. one out of my siblings that can speak it properly, though. Well, my brother's learning now because he's a big boy musician. Oh, okay. But my older sister, maybe she's learning now because she lives in Nigeria. So. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah yeah cool. so. Yeah, I need to get on my Zoom, boy. Well, have boy. To be, hey. you, have to, you have to. It's if you really want it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw some guy on YouTube. Like I think. Yeah, you told. I, I told. Yeah, yeah, I told. Yeah. I, told, I, told um, I told you about it. Like on Sunday, there's this guy. He does this game show where you start. Oh with, my gosh, I've been seeing that. I've been seeing that still. I've been seeing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then every time you say, you have to say everything in Yoruba. Every time you say a word in English, you lose like I don't know if it's like 250k. Who's this? No, um, I've seen that. It's, I think it's called like EA Yoruba. That's his like um, he, um his um Instagram. Like he's, okay. he's proper, he's proper cool still. No, nah, it's a funny show and, still. And it's mad like my um my sister's my sister's boyfriend was telling me how like you know like colours in Yoruba as well. Do you know what green is in Yoruba? No, nah, I don't know. Like, that. Bro, like you <laughs> That's know green. Extra details for that. <laughs> Green, like it's not one word. It's like apparently it's like the back of of a leaf. Yeah, it's descriptive. It's, yeah, That's yeah, basically yeah, yeah, yeah. like the, the translation of green. I said, ah, bro, this nah, is he, the kind of Yoruba they want me to learn. Bro, he drags it, bro. He's even like, bro, he will tell you to like say the question number. The question number is one hundred sixty-five, something brazy. That or he will be not. He will now be like, oh, he will say something. You'll be like, oh, okay, you will now say something. You'll say, yeah, buy me, remove, okay, for for me. So the money will now go down again. Yeah. Bro, it's peak, bro. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's Yoruba is very very important, especially. You, you have to know where you come from. Yeah. You have to be able to speak your language, even if it's just the basics, and then you grow upon that. Yeah. Do you understand? That's th- that's one thing that really irritates me about UK men or UK ah. Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys know there's no games. You know, there's no games. There's no games because it don't make sense. Do you yeah. understand? You know what you know everything about the UK? You're telling me about the Queen and the King that have not that's done anything for your life, and you don't know about your roots. So uh, mm. all of those kind of stuff, it just gives you a little bit more confidence. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Not that I really think it's that important, but at the same time, you should know. Do you understand? So mm. you don't go to your own country and you get swindled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. Garo, garo. You need to be able to stand any place, any time. Yeah, no, no. Do you know what I'm trying to say? That's that's the thing. I feel like th- the reason for me was like, bro, I just feel like I can't, the only thing <clears> I passed down cannot be food. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like more of like my culture needs to be passed down, and I think a lot of cultures pass down through language, innit? You feel just way more connected. No, but starting out's a bit embarrassing, though. Man. People be laughing at you, bro. Of bro. course, that's normal. Yeah, man. Man. Oh, my if you can't get laughed at, then you're not on nothing. Fair. No, but, no, that's but the thing is, I do feel Fair. like we are, like particularly our culture, we are a bit like it's almost like there's a barrier to entry when it comes to learning language. You get what I'm saying? Because of the fact that like you're gonna get teased at like. Whereas I feel like other languages, people will like actually encourage you to learn. If someone said they're learning French, I don't think you go to France and you try to speak the language and they'd be laughing at you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Maybe like a laugh or kid like, oh no, yeah, yeah, did you yeah, mean yeah, this? yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's your yeah. like, you'll try something and you'll be like, what did you mean? Did you mean? Yeah, you know yeah. Like, I, I think that's just chill, the culture man. though, man. That's yeah, just the culture yeah. of Nigeria. Like uh, everybody's very loud and aggressive yeah, and yeah, yeah, opinionated. Yeah. So you have to get, I, I really feel like anybody who was born Nigerian, you've been given like, I don't know how to say it, two steps ahead of life. Yeah. You develop tough skills tough skin quick real quick to be fair like even even looking at some of your content like obviously you preach a lot about like discipline do you get what I'm mm, saying yeah, and that, yeah. that kind of side of life like, mm. what did you what what was it for you that kind of like made that switch for you because like even when it came to like I think you spoke about like journaling every day yeah like bro that's something me I've, I've yeah, dabbled and dabbled in it here yeah, and there like for stretches do you get time, me but yeah. I haven't found it something that is like a daily practice for me do you, get what you don't have pain ah me you don't have pain. I have me, I have pain. Though. Bro, no, 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 you think so? Of course. Yeah, you Let me tell you that you have cancer today, and I promise you will never touch a cigarette again in your life. Who's that that has cancer? You you don't have cancer. Ah, but I'm yeah, telling you. Do you understand what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. People don't make changes until it gets to the worst place. There yeah, are there, there yeah, are different yeah, types of people in this world. Mm. 
I've always said that there are certain people, sh- there are certain type of people that you can just rub their back, yeah. tell them one time, don't do this again, they won't do it again. Yeah. There are certain people that have to learn from the consequences of their actions. There are some people that have to learn from the consequences and get hit by a bus yeah, 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 before yeah, they actually yeah, wake yeah, up. Yeah, 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 so God works according to your character and according to how you are. Mm. I'm stubborn. Mm. Okay. So the w- the way the way I am. If if God was, if God was one of them ones where He would pat my back and talk to me and through different people and He didn't allow me to go through real life, uh, I won't be showing up the way I could show up for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand yeah. what I'm trying to say? No, so you. that's what I'm saying. It's pain. I cannot. I'm gonna say pain. The pain is also attached to the vision. Mm. You see the journaling. I don't want to always do it. Mm. You think I want to wake up at five a.m., bro? You you journal. Of course, I have to wake up at five a.m. Yeah, because yeah yeah. yeah. First of all, um, again, when you read the scriptures, what yeah. time did God wake Jesus wake up when he went to go and pray? It was early, mornings. Early in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. There's something significant about, significant about the mornings. Yeah. Everything that God created was intentional. He created 1 a.m. for a reason, 2 a.m. for a reason, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Mm. The sun, the skies, the moon, everything. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for me, it's like, if I don't spend time with God at the beginning of the day, the rest of my day is it's, it's very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. You just open the door to a lot. You open the door yeah, to a lot. Yeah. And we're men. I don't know why we don't talk about this stuff. I, I hate passive Christians. Mm. Mm. I hate passive. I, I don't like it. Yeah. What, do you, what do you mean by passive though? Passive as in in the sense of we don't attack things and we do all of this Christianese language yeah. and we don't talk about <laughs> real stuff yeah, 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 that's yeah. really happening. No, I agree. Do you understand? So. Like it is actually enjoyable to watch porn. Mm. It is actually enjoyable to masturbate. Mm. It feels good to have sex. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. do it because I can't afford it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too expensive mm. for the attainment of my vision. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, that's, that's... Do you understand? Yeah, that's First Corinthians 9.27, I think, where it talks about... Remember how I keep on saying how like Paul talks about striking a blow to his body yeah. to um, so that when he preaches to others, he doesn't... Um, he doesn't disqualify himself of the prize that 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 he's he's um, been meant to give and um, being given by God, and that's the kind of same kind of vibe in the sense of like how like, bro, there's certain things that we just can't do because we know that there's a greater prize that's that's there. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So it's yeah. like that's the thing. I feel like it's just real the fact that you said fam, like at the end of the day, it's like it's let's not lie. Like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, in yeah. the moment, it feels pleasure. Of course, get, bro. Like, in a, the moment, temp- before the moment, yeah, yeah. Yeah. before the moment, it might even be the most. Yeah, because you, you, because you, of the anticipation. The anticipation. Like, that's it's, it's, it's yeah, the high but, end, nah, but it's yeah. just like like, and that thing is not bad. Yeah. The only thing is that it's out of purpose. Yeah, but the only reason why someone is gonna because you know yeah you know all my life yeah I used to sit down and I used to be so angry at this so called man that I call God. I used to look at him and be like, why can this you, yeah, go and be having sex with different girls, smoking weed, doing whatever he likes, and he doesn't get convicted? Mm. Why does he just do this stuff and he enjoys it? And he can even plan the next one with excitement. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. No, no, it's real. It's real. But me, it's, it's me I do it one time. Yeah. Me. <laughs> My heart is yeah. trembling. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what he told me? You see, when you're in the light, you can't get away with anything. Mm. When you're in the darkness, nobody's seeing you, bro. Yeah. So you can do that stuff because you, you're you not going nowhere. You don't even know who you are. You don't know what you're meant to be doing. Mm-hmm. But you see, when you get that vision from God, it's long. Do you know what it is? I, I agree still. I think, I think the biggest thing about that, what you mentioned, yeah, is, is, um, is consciousness. I feel like that's a big thing when it comes to our faith. Like, you know, like, I remember I heard... Um, I think I spoke about a while ago when um, Michael Roper went to a certain church in, in, in London, yeah. And he was talking about the fact that, like, he gave an example of, like, me, me might have gone to a church, yeah. And this might have been the first time that you saw somebody like come on and known to the spirit. And you're thinking, right, that's a bit crazy. I mean, I'm not coming mm, to the church mm, again to get me. Mm-hmm. But you yourself, you now started to come more to this church. You now start to read your word. You, you know, you're understanding things. And then you too, when you came to church that day, then you start to feel noise. You said, oh, okay, I get it because of the understanding of, okay, cool, this is actually what's happening in it. Yeah. So to your point about like understanding who you are, why you're not supposed to do something, I feel like once you know, you can't unknow it. Do you get me? Impossible. It, will, it will always be impossible. It will, it will always, always be there. there. Exactly. It will always impossible. Be there. It will always be there. But you can like you can, you can ignore it. I think it gets to it, it can also get to a point where the conviction begins to die down. Mm-hmm. Like, like it, but the, yeah, the voice ain't that quenching the spirit basically. Hundred percent. Yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's like, just you continually giving into the flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, hundred percent. You get what I'm saying? That's so, dangerous, you know. But uh, bro, it's, it's it's dangerous because it comes to a point where it's like, oh. You just feel like you can't even hear the Holy Spirit. You get what I'm saying? Or you feel like you can't even be led in a certain way 
because it's now like you can't like it's too it's too quiet now. Now you actually have to sometimes you have to start again and just build back up, build back up mm. the spirit to the to the point of sensitivity again. Where like okay, cool, these things I can hear, these these things I can see, I can see when I'm when the Holy Spirit is speaking to me through something, through someone, like or do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, or, like, yeah. I'm convicted now because oh, I know like I've not almost upset God, but I've I've uh, I've. I've let myself down. I've yeah. let my purpose yeah. down in that, yeah. in that kind of way. Do you get me? Now that there's there's a bit more, there's a bit more, but that's only by increasing that sensitivity as well. Do you get what I mean? But yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. But just quickly though, uh, usually at the start episodes we kind of do like a little game, whatever, just to just to ease into it. Oh right, right. we're past the game. Yeah, but, but you, <laughs> yeah, you know what kind of game? Yeah, you know what kind of game? Just yeah. do small. This is yeah, but I'm not um, gonna do a continuation of single. Did you have a game for that game last week? A I mean, two, yeah, for the last episode. I called it how fast though. Yeah, how far? Yeah, we're doing we're doing how far against though. Um, so Sorry. essentially, do you want me to explain or do you want do you um, want to explain? Yeah, no, I don't. I can explain. So essentially. This game, um, so Akin's gonna give a topic now, nice. um, and it's gonna be basically you versus one of us two each round. So we're gonna go. So let's say Akin says um, books in the Bible. Yeah, we're gonna say how um, you're gonna say. Let's say you say you can name like six. Yeah, mm. I say I can name ten. You say you can name twelve. I say I can name fifteen. You say okay, cool. Name fifteen. So now I have twenty seconds to name fifteen books in the Bible. Cool. Is that that. That's right, yeah, that's light. Yeah. No, but I think we should imp because we didn't do it last time. If you don't get the 15, the other person should get the point. Okay, Because cool, we didn't yeah. do that last time. That's cool, that's cool. Cool. All right, cool. That's so cool. we're talking about what's it called? Knowing where you're from, Nigeria. All right, cool. This is just the example one. All right, cool. So. Wait, um, who, who, you, do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. All right, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So how many, how many Nigerian presidents can you name in 20 seconds? I can't lie to I have no business with that. <laughs> no, 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 you just said you're just a Man, Nigerian you like bro. I'm a citizen, bro. No, yeah, bro. How many? I can't lie. I can't I can lie. Name that country is useless three. with all the presidents we've had. Ah, oh, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, bro, I, bro. Think, I think I could, I two, could do three. two, bro. I what, got Buhari? Okay. I know, no, no, no. Good, good. Who? Gaddafi. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, brother. It's good night, innit? Bro. Ah, cool. Ah, uh, cool. That's, that's, that, 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 that was just the, that was, that, that was just the example. Gaddafi. Gaddafi. Brother? That, that, that was just the example. Uh, so, uh, cool. I know there's so, Tinnable as well, innit? But like, wake up. Next who, who, so, who, who's going for, for us a lot? Yeah. So, Cinco, yeah? All right, cool. Yeah. So, Sing, I'm gonna start with you, yeah? yeah. Cool. So Daffy is peak. That's that's the biggest yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah, that's yeah, that's crazy, bro. But no. The first one we're going with is Cinco. Yeah. Prophets in the Bible. How many can you name? Ooh, okay, cool. So number wise, okay, cool. I'll start with three. Come on. No, no, no. Let me start like how many do you think you can name? Mm, loads. In twenty seconds, by the way. Yeah, twenty seconds. Loads. Pick a number. Okay, yeah, so pick a number. Two. I said three, so you have to go higher than that. Four. Okay, cool. I think I can name seven. You think you can do higher than seven? I can't lie. Okay, do you want me to answer the question as to what I believe a prophet is? or No, no, no. Like, how many prophets can you name in the Bible in 20 seconds? Number one. Let's just say three. You think? Okay, cool. I'll, I'll go ahead. Ah, cool. Single I'll, say seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. I am. So what, name them then? Yeah, I have to name, n- name them in 20 seconds. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Samuel, Nathan, Joshua, um, Flip. No, it's wrong time to say Flip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you said that, <laughs> you said that seven with <laughs> confidence. So. Wait, but it's not that seven, he's telling you that. Guys, just confidence. start, just start <laughs> thinking, bro. Just start. Joshua, Joshua. Joshua was a prophet, no? Was he? I no, yeah. Joshua was a was a um, was a, a judge. Oh, mm. what do you mean, Joshua was a judge? Was he not like? What's it, is, it, is it not called like before before Israel before Israel had a king? Was they had judges? No. What's a prophet? Hmm. That's the question. Still, somebody somebody sent by God, Dala. No. So what are you? Ah, fair enough. Mm. Fair enough. I no, no, but I to, to, de- to deliver a certain message. Yeah, like, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say. That I could think, be anybody. No, no, no. But I think it's a, there's a difference between a prophet and someone that can prophesy. Do you get me? No, I think so because because the thing is, I feel like prophet, like being a prophet, is both in the same way that not everyone's a pastor or not everyone's. A, everybody not everyone is a pastor. Be. No, but everybody is a pastor. No, everyone, every, everyone can be. But I don't think everybody serves as a role like that. There is no such thing as a pastor who just serves as a pastor. That per- that person's completely out of purpose. Pastor shouldn't even be a title. Jesus was not a pastor. Did you ever hear pastor in the Bible? 
What's yeah, the, no, Jesus wasn't a pastor. But yeah. No, no, but that, that doesn't mean that there aren't, there isn't a role for a pastor. Listen, like, even, even, even in, I think, is it Ephesians or Philippians that talks about like, there being like space for shepherds and, five, yes, five, and teachers? Yes, I'm not, I'm not denying that. Right. There's teachers and there's, there's, there's different ministries and all of that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm not denying that. But I'm saying from when I connect with God, and I can hear him clearly, and yeah. I'm reading his word. Yeah. He can put me in any department at, at any time, according to my gifts, yeah. my talents, and abilities that he's given me. Yeah. Now there are people who are able to prophesy through dreams, mm -hmm. who see dreams. There are people yeah. that are yeah, able yeah. to prophesy through words and all of that kind of stuff. But I don't feel like it's stuck to T. D. Jakes or um, Miles Monroe. Or yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. So when yeah. I was saying prophet, when I yeah. said I can answer the question, every single person in the Bible is a prophet. Because when 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 I checked, it said there are eighty eight named prophets in the bible but i think it also said there are thousands of prophets and because remember when they were when they killed um who was it jezebel that when elijah ran they right. called all the prophets right right so there's thousands or hundreds of them whatever oh so it's it is something similar for so me in my mind elijah and elijah. The, yeah, yeah, a was, prophet is a vessel that has made himself available for god to use you've killed your flesh and now god's spirit abounds in you and he speaks for you at any point at is any that, time but i didn't know i just i just feel like that's a bit of a it can it can make something that I feel like God has made sacred a bit loose. So it's, it's not to say that I think, like I said, everybody can't be used. At any point, yeah. God can use even an unbeliever and that person can prophesy to you every day. Yeah. So I feel like if we, if without like, that, I think there are like, in my mind, certain divisions and certain lines where someone can take the role on of a pastor at a, at a certain point, right. but the calling and walking the life of a pastor, I think not everyone can do or not everyone really has been called to do. What's do the calling and the walk of a pastor? So I think, um, just just spitting off the dome. Like I think, one being able to like shepherd people, yeah, right. that, yeah. um, being able to take on the burdens of a church, being able to um, look ahead and build, not just your vision of something, but God's <laughs> yeah, vision of, of yeah, for for a specific set of people. And that doesn't always mean it's going to be a mega church or something that's going to have a thousand people. God might just want you to pastor fifty people, and that fifty yeah. people might go on to be the light of the world after yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like particularly when it comes to shepherding, when it, when it comes to um, like filling people up with the spirit from the word I feel like those maybe three or four things I'd say in terms that's of the role of a man you've just described the role of a man to when you're in your work yeah and you, you cultivate yourself yeah and you also teach that's pastoring so what I'm doing on my social right now social media right now I'm working that's my work I'm God's mouthpiece of course so therefore my daily work is to sit down Pray, mm -hmm. meditate, mm -hmm. read his word, mm -hmm. the constitution, mm -hmm. and re-deliver it in the way that he instructs me to. Yeah. And then now I've got a group chat of men who are in there. They're also being shepherded. I might not be doing everything by myself. Yeah, yeah. I might have a team. Yeah. But that's the role of anybody who says, I have a relationship with Christ. Yeah. Mm. That's you can't not shepherd people, you can't not teach. I hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? No, but I, do, but I think because um, somewhere in scripture it says something about it kind of makes a different or distinction. <clears throat> so it says something about teachers will be judged more severely. Yeah, yeah, of course. So don't you think there is some type of distinction and separation? Because you said obviously it's the role of a man, but there are some are at call. Cool. You're actually called to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so what's the? So Solomon said, "As you grow in knowledge, you also grow in sorrow." Mm. So I relate that back to that scripture. Whereas you're a teacher, you know better. So these people are now under your care. Okay. So if you allow any of this stuff, falafel to happen, or there's any misguidance here, I'm coming to you because I gave you the message. So, so let me... So let me, once you become enlightened, uh -huh. for example, right. you have a responsibility to bring those people that are in the wilderness out. Right. You haven't just been allowed to be enlightened just for yourself to absolutely do you understand what I'm trying yeah, to say yeah, yeah. so I'm, that's what I'm talking about I'm, I'm just trying to think like so would you right now like, would you call yourself a pastor that's a very good question because I feel like like I'm saying I think the only the, the reason I would say I'm a pastor I think I just avoid it because I don't like the Christianese people and the religious people that come 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 around that Right. That's, that's it. So the, the only reason that I would I would think differently, not necessarily concerning you, like obviously everyone should kind of see how, how they see themselves with God because if that's what you've speaking, been speaking to, to God about in your secret place, 
If what? Is, Sorry, say that again. If that's what you've been speaking about to God in your secret place regarding no, you being a pastor, for example. No, 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 no. I didn't. I have never asked God to make me a pastor. I am not. Don't be messaging me, Daddy Pastor <laughs> and uh, Prophet. No, but, but, but if you see yourself as a pastor, but you haven't asked God to make you a pastor. Which I don't mean? see myself as a pastor. Right. I just see myself as a vessel. You see, I try to stay away from titles as much as possible because okay. of human beings. Okay. Right. okay now, okay, what okay, God okay, calls okay, me okay. in private, I allow other people. If you call me a pastor, no probs. Mm. But I'm not going to come to you and be like, call me pastor or... No, nah, my name is Michael Pepper and I have a relationship with God and he speaks through me. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very that's, simple. That's yeah. So if you want to call me Prophet Michael, you want to call me uh, Prophet, wherever, wherever you want to call me, Evangelist, uh, Prayer Warrior, that's your own business. Mm-hmm. But don't put, don't. I'm not going to give you no title because I don't want to be judged more than I need to be. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, I hear you. So, the, hear so you. the people that are preaching on the pulpit, right, and those in the congregation, of course that we're all God's children and stuff, right? So do you... Not everybody's God's child. Okay, okay, cool, cool. But do you, do you kind of think... There's no sort of like, not distinction, but one's role is this, the other role is, do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, definitely. Okay, cool. Are, I feel like there's, of course, there's people who are appointed. Okay. Okay, so okay, you feel, okay, 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 cool, okay, cool, cool, I mean? cool, 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 cool. I definitely feel like there's, there are people who are especially anointed for certain things. Okay, right. all right. But again, that's scripture. Yeah. So this ain't, I, I never want to talk, I never talk about opinions. That's why I don't really get into debates. And okay, that kind cool. Of stuff. Okay. So if it's not in scripture, just yeah. disregard anything I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm just talking about, from me, from yeah. what I know, yeah. I believe as soon as you make yourself available to God uh-huh. and he has purified you yeah. and you have consistently made yourself and told him, yo, use me, I believe you can be a prophet. I believe you can be a pastor. Absolutely. I believe yeah, it's possible yeah. because it's a seed. So God will never call anything outside of me that he hasn't first put inside of me. Mm-hmm. So if I wasn't able to speak this way, yeah. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be possible for me to, to do what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you no, know what I'm trying to I, say? I, I totally get it. I think... I think when you when you kind of mentioned the kind of like somebody being especially like anointed or appointed for it, I think it kind of clicks now because initially it kind of sounded as though you were saying there was no difference between someone that I go to listen to every Sunday or at least who blesses me every but Sunday. But those are just word. the chosen ones, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially anointed people are the people who have been chosen. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But Distinctive. But, yeah, yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the reason why you lot reached out to me. There are yeah. there are so many guys that do what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did I stand out? Mm. That's okay. not me. You know, you know it is. Like I was even I was even telling these man, it was really and truly because obviously maybe we can talk about like what you do um a bit later on in terms of like PT pepper talks and stuff like that. But there was a it, it was that in in a sense because there was a realness behind that. As well, do you get? Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of the time, people don't really talk about the realness that comes with, like, just just man and being a man, and like the difficulties that we may go through. Do you get? What I'm saying, like, um, when we, um, like, do you remember when you were talking about um, with um, with Charlie, how you were talking about? I don't know. Um, the G, uh, the, the, the D, D-, 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 D- street. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. <laughs> like, man, like. No one really talks about that. No one really talks about, okay, cool. I didn't really grow up with a father figure in my house, so I didn't really know what it was like to actually... What, what does a man do? Like, how does a man move in society once they've reached <coughs> that adulthood stage? You get what I'm saying? Mm, yep. So that's really why. Not everyone talks about that. People will just go to, like, the basics of, like, oh, okay, cool. I keep, every time I hit this mic, you know. But, like, oh, okay, cool. Like, a certain level of this is how Christians should be, da, 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 without getting really the foundations. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, and yeah. I feel like All that's... Right. Practicals. Do you get me? Like, just, just keeping it raw and relatable as well. Do you get me? Right, but cool. yeah. So I reckon that's that's one note to Michael, isn't it? That's <laughs> yeah. one note to Michael. But no, yeah. I'll do one more in it. So the second one I was going to do because we're in a, you know, fitness... Gym, all this kind of stuff. There, mm-hmm. I want to say there's, I want to say there's an epidemic, but all these run clubs and that. But so <laughs> I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with you, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. How much or how many rather like gym equip? No, should I do gym? Gym exercise. How much gym exercises do you think you can name in 20 seconds? Oh, I don't know. I can't give you a number. No, you have to give, you have to give us a number. It's the game. It is the game. Right, let's say five. Uh, I'll go for. Definitely can do more than that, but I'll go for seven. Don't do that. <laughs> what? Ten. Uh, what? 12 14 Go on In 20 yeah, 14 is In 20 No, we said no, we were saying Now you were quick You were quick You were quick Bro, I said, see, you're crazy Now don't worry, I've got the time I've got the time I'll get on the point then the no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no,
fl- chest fl- um, peck flies, mm-hmm. uh, uh, dumbbell press, uh, dumbbell rows, uh, 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 leg curl, uh, 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 leg extensions, uh, back it, extensions. Um, do, how, how many, many is that? Yeah, that was ten. Got, yeah, was ten. Yeah, you got ten, but um, uh. yeah. What's the one one, yeah? Yeah, yeah it was Listen, cool. man, draw thing, man. Draw, 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 draw. Oh. Nah, it's calm still. No, I'll give yeah. you that one still. I didn't pay attention to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, um, might as well run back the intro, innit? Yeah, listen, yeah, listen. It's episode 68 of the Still Changer podcast. Uh, we've got Capo in the studio. Who else is here? Sam Cinco. I came one and only. Oh, we've got a special guest in the building. Yes, like sir. I said, it's hot. It's Pepe. You already know, it's your boy, Atarudo Michael Pepe. Hey! Ah! 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 You understand the God experience, mm. you know me? Do we come back down to earth after though? Hmm? Do we come back down to earth after we hear the answer? No, let's say you, let's see, let's see you're actually in heaven. Right? No, 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 but what's no, the then? No, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. you come yeah. down to earth after, but you can ask one question. Come up the, come up the eternity. Are you not agreed? Why do you want to come back down so much? What? What's the exactly? What? So I can share it. Yeah, no, share. Yeah, one question. What are you asking? I don't know. You know. Show me everything I could have done in the time. Nah. No chance. No, nah. no chance. No chance. Because you're. Nah, no chance. 100%. Do you know why? Do you know why? No Matt, the reason why I'm, I'm that, could, that could actually break it up, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, the yeah. thing is, the, the only time I would want to see something like that is when I know that I'm going to heaven in heaven. Hey, no, I'm ready. I'm ready. I could have done that. Yeah, but well. you, you, you know you're going to heaven when you live in heaven on earth. You know heaven's already here, right? And hell's already here. Yeah, okay. So, you know when you're in heaven and you know when you're in hell. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like, uh, and you know, sometimes when you know something is happening um, or when you know something can happen, you kind of try and like force that play. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. You try and force that 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 end result to come. So it, sometimes you might, maybe that's now you being righteous, like you being mm-hmm. self-righteous now, mm-hmm. instead yeah. of you just mm-hmm. walking by faith in the yeah. sense of like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm like, I think Paul actually talks a lot about this in Galatians in the sense of like, like, um, just being um, focusing on the gospel and focusing on God, and then the righteousness mm. comes from God. It's not from the works itself. Because yeah. I think in Galatians, a lot of the time, like um, the, the main issue with that that city was um, they were reading the Torah too much. They were like focusing on righteousness and laws right. too much. Yeah. So it's like me seeing that. Okay, cool. This is the perfect will of God. God has for me. I need to do X, Y, and Z to get it. But really and truly, it's like, I just need to keep my eyes on God to yeah. get it. Seek you yeah, first the kingdom of God. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. that's why, that's why I'd, I I wouldn't want to know that because yeah. then I'll be like thinking, okay, cool. Like, this is this is what I need to do. Do you get me? When, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, when, God's, yeah, yeah. When, when, when with God, it's really like, just set your mind on things above yeah. and then everything else is going to work it no, out. No, but even when you say that, bro, like, because, do you know what? I, like I said, I've grown up in church. So mm. backstory, I've been a professional drummer. I've been a... I play drums. That's okay. that's my life. Do you understand yeah, what I'm okay. trying to say? I haven't played in a while because I haven't been to church in a while. But I grew up in church. There is hardly a church that I haven't played at in the UK. Oh. Bar oh. some. Do you understand? So when I hear stuff like that, for me, it's still confusing. And that's why I speak so clearly and I thank God for removing and stripping every single thing out of me to the point where I could only speak from him. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because when God strips you... <laughs> You have no choice but to go back and submit to him. Yeah, yeah, no. So when you're talking about seek you first the kingdom of God, we're talking about his character. Because his character, the reason why all of those other things are added onto you is because that kind of character yeah, is what brings, brings and attracts brings. that stuff. Okay, cool, yeah. Seest a man who is diligent in his works, he will be seated amongst kings. Mm. Diligence. Okay, Do you understand what I'm trying it. to say? Okay, I hear Diligence that, is a fruit of a spirit. Patience. Yeah, yeah. Which is something that God consistently had to slap into my head. Mm. Patience is the fruit of the spirit. Forgiveness is the fruit of the spirit. Self-control is the fruit of the spirit. Yeah, yeah. I'm struggling with pornography. I'm struggling with fruit of the spirit. Yeah. So from when you start speaking, out of the abundance of the heart does the mouth speak. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what are you watching, bro? Yeah, man. What are you listening to? Nah, it's real, man. Bro, it's real. conversation with himself now. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, 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 it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's, no, but it's real stuff, real. though, man. It's real, real stuff. Because I'm tired of hearing this stuff, like, and I was in that place. I told God, like, 
When God gave me that open vision, listen, I was in the bathroom. I did a 21 day fast, yeah? I was down and I was out and I was frustrated with church. I'm tired of going to church. Everybody's praying and doing 21 days fasting. It's January, everybody's doing the whole fasting, but yeah. the church is the brokest place. Mm. When it comes to coming to do youth events, everybody's doing crowdfunding. We can't even find money mm. to go and do youth events for the church. There's always excuses to buy new cymbals or new drums or new equipment for the church. When it comes to building a new building or getting a new building, the, the church is always the one that struggles to find a place. Why? Hey. Why are we average? Real Why is it every yeah. single testimony is that somebody comes on stage and, oh, I survived a car crash? Why can't it be a kind of testimony where it's like, we've just taken over BBC and somebody in this church is the head of BBC. So we can bring the news of God, the news yeah, of the kingdom right. that's inspired by the Holy Spirit to the church. Yeah. Bring people from the church. Why is it that musicians in the church have to go mm. outside and play for Burner Boy or play for like a whiz kid or whatever yeah. the case may be yeah. and compromise their faith for money? Why can't we bring up world leaders, world financiers, visionaries mm. in the church? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went on a fast. I said, God, show me who you are. I went on a 21 day fast, just war, and I'm not bragging. I need people to understand how serious this is. I watched a man called Dr. Miles Monroe. He's my yeah, spiritual, yeah, man. Come spiritual yeah, father. Yeah, yeah, come, like, on, man. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. So I come went on, on a man. fast. Come on, man. And I was reading his book. If you're a man and you have not read Understanding Your Potential, Releasing Your Potential, and Maximizing Your Potential by Dr. Miles Monroe, you will continue to remain average oh. unless you're reading the Bible. Cool. I did that fast. I was in the shower. I'm a grown man. I was in the shower. First thing that happened was, towards the last few days of that fast, I'll be praying and I'll be noticing a draft around me. Mm. Now, you need to remember that this is a boy who's just grown up in church, been playing drums, and just praise the ugly people, the the oh, Pharisees, what? yeah, oh. like the Pharisees, oh. the religious ones, the oh, ones yeah, that God yeah. hates, yeah, yeah. yeah? The, the ones that send people to the grave average, mm. yeah? That's happened now, I'm thinking, maybe this is in my head. Mm -hmm. So the fast is finished, I can notice a different level of peace, a different level of peace. This peace, yeah? This piece is so dangerous, yeah. Before I did this past, before I did this fast, yeah, bro, I was, you see, masturbation. Mm. Masturbation was me. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that was it. No, it's not yeah, easy. It's not even I masturbated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma masturbation was me. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, Benita, Benita, porn Benita. was me. I Benita. created porn. Benita, Benita, Benita. Benita. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I get you, bro. Like, I had no control. Mm. I had no control. I was sensitive, anything would get to me. I just, I was just lost. Mm. I was just lost, I was just frustrated. So I said, God, show me my vision. Show me who you've made me. Mm. <laughs> you know when people talk about, I think it's Beyonce that has an album and in the beginning of the album, she talks about how she levitated. I don't know if you guys have Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 I don't, nah, it's, it's, nah, it's, nah, it's, it's recent, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Recent, oh, yeah, yeah. Some crazy stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah recent. And how she fasted for for 90 days or 40 days or something like that. Right. You see, this is what people don't understand, that anybody who's achieved any height of they greatness, yeah, they yeah, also yeah, have yeah, a power. Get there, get there, get there. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Wow, can you show yeah. a dick? <laughs> the thing is, something, something has to, I remember I chatting to my brother about this, particularly about music, like, or even, like you said, just success. Everybody that's gotten somewhere, Something is helping them. It's yeah, not yeah, by yeah. flesh. Something, yeah. something, something is, is popping them so up. It's so it's God or the, me. You see that statement, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard yeah. what I have in store for you. You mm. know that that same scripture applies to the enemy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all truth is parallel. All truth Do you understand parallel. what I'm trying to say? The yeah. devil, that applies to the enemy as well. Mm. He will show you what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard okay. at an expense. Yeah, you yeah, see, when yeah, God yeah, blesses yeah. you, There's his one is just yeah. no reproach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But when the devil blesses you, he gives you, you will chop that jollof rice. So, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me ask you something, yeah, and hopefully I didn't cut you off. I didn't even finish the, 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 the prophecy. No, yeah. go on. No, 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 Rofi, bro. No, no, finish your sentence. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to forget. No, 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 I got it, I got it. Cool. I finished praying. Yeah. I'm in a shower. Yeah. My mom's downstairs. Remember, I'm about 20, 21. Swear. Yeah. What's a fast 21 days? Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, listen bro. Chief. It's not hard. 
Think so. I'm telling you, you it's not hard. What did you? You tried something similar. I'm, I'm telling you. What? I only did three days drive fast and that oh. one. For the second day, that's yeah. where you did. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because, and this is why I love people like, um, um, oh. leaders like Dr. Miles Monroe, because mm. it's like, he breaks it down in a way. Where do you guys think I get all of this from? Where do you guys think I talk mm. from? This yeah. ain't Michael's, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's wisdom that's do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is stuff that I found in, in a secret place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, he breaks it down in a way that he adds science, but he also adds the word. Yeah. Because everything that's been created was from God, right? Yeah. So for me, all I need to hear is that by the eighth day, scientifically, your body breaks the, the need for food and then it switches to your fat. Uh-huh. And it starts to use your fat as food, so you enter a flow state. Yeah, that's all I needed to hear. So okay, so all of this rumbling, oh, it's just acids. I just need to drink water, and it's gone. Okay, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I get hungry at three pm because it's a, it's a habit. My body's used to food, so it starts preparing the acids at around two thirty, three pm. Right, right. yeah, oh, okay, yeah, so I just need to drink water. Okay, no problem. You see, once you know how weak and baseless your enemy is you mm. can attack it bro no honestly the no. enemy the enemy it's, it's about identity yeah. and again about bro, consciousness as as once as you start knowing know. things are happening right, right, let me finish this yeah there's so much man because yeah. i'm tired of man them being average no let's talk yeah? about it. so anyway i'm in the bathroom now and i'm just praying i'm just like in the shower in the shower yeah i'm just like lord help me like just show me who i am I think that's what I, that's what I can remember saying. Lord, show, show me who I am. Nobody's in the house. My mom's downstairs. I've locked myself in my room for 21 days, not eating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just drinking water, banging two, four liters a day. Yeah, that's the- my mom's thinking, what are you doing? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's happening? That's my mom. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, up yeah, at yeah. 3 a.m. praying. Yeah, 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 See, yeah, yeah. religion, mm. culture is different mm, from actually having a relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, How are you questioning why, why am I doing this? How are mm. you telling me that you don't need to fast for this long? That yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get there. Hey, people, what's going on? It's Sam Sinko. It's Capo here. Listen, make sure you like comments and subscribe help us out man if you want to see more of us then do these things we're saying in it send in your dilemmas as well man of course of course so when that happens and i'm in the bathroom and i ask god to show me i think i asked three times my brother have you ever had an experience you see that levitate and beyonce was saying she's not a liar <coughs> if the devil can make you levitate levitate god will make you levitate i didn't levitate but my body I was here, but I was in the White House. Ah, oh. mm. I could see my. It's like, oh man, yeah. It's like those cut cut transitions where it's like everything trans. Imagine if this was just a green screen, yeah, and this just transformed into the White House. Okay, but I can, I can feel myself, like I'm in the White, like I'm actually on top of the White House where the, where the, where the the, um, the president gives. An inauguration, yeah, 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 okay, and he's speaking to bare people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just on top there where he gives the speech, and it's just people, bro, like crowds of people, mm. like people. You know how long, yeah, that, the grass is where yeah, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. people. And I'm thinking, so that's happened, but it's like it felt like five minutes, but it was actually two minutes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it was not two minutes; it was yeah. like ten minutes. Yeah, but it yeah, wasn't yeah, ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, lose, yeah. you lose the, the yeah, element we've of got time. Time, is, that. Yeah, yeah. Time, time isn't a thing with God as well. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So you lose, you lose that thing. My voice hit a pitch that I never thought a man could ever make, and I ran downstairs to my mom. Oh, <laughs> he screamed in my towel. I hear it. Crying. That's that feel of Sunday, can I? Yeah. <laughs> my brother, <laughs> that that kind of tear. I honestly. If somebody had never had water in their life, I could have f- filled up a bucket of water, bro. Mm. It was like fear mixed with this fire that yeah, cannot yeah, be yeah, quenched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. mad. Mixed yeah. with also confusion as to me. Mm. Mm. Do you know when, you know when, um, when, when the burning bush... I knew you were going to yeah. talk about Moses. Right? And my mom was like, you... You're gonna lead these Israelites. Mm-hmm. Go yeah. to Pharaoh, big man. Yeah. Imagine you that you've just killed somebody. Yes. And yeah. you have a star as well. And yeah. you have a star. Yeah. And he told you see, I was reading a scripture the other day, and he said he uses the foolish yeah, things yeah, yeah, to yeah, shun yeah, the yeah. wise. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Talk about it. So all of those Christianese and religious people. 
we're in the business. It's very important. It is? Absolutely important. Yes. Yes. I need you to be good for your head. Listen, I'm not even going to start right now, yeah? Because you guys will get uh, done out. You, you, you guys need to know oh, where you're dealing with here. Do you understand? Go, 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 go. All of those religious stuff and all of these other religions where people cover their heads and they do all of this kind of stuff, it's all rubbish. Because at the end of the day, if a bird was not in its work, which is to fly, that bird is failing. So no matter how much that bird sits down and praises whoever created him and covers his head and screams and prays, if that bird does not work to fly, that bird is out of purpose, which means it is a failure, out of righteousness. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, your sole purpose on this earth is to accomplish purpose. That's it. What What is your purpose? To bring God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. How do you do that? Through the gifts, the talents, the abilities that he's giving you. Okay, that still doesn't make sense. I can play drums. I can sing. I can jump. I can shout. Yeah, that's right. You've also been given ideas which you must fulfill through those talents mm. and those gifts. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's not about the prayer. Because if somebody like Elon Musk or the world government has the guts to shut down the church during COVID, tell me what, tell me what we're doing. Please tell me what we're doing. So wait, wait. So on, on, on the, on like, on the, on the point about maybe certain church practices, yeah. Like we some, we sometimes spoke about this and thought about this even in our own like private conversations or whatever. And I feel like, I don't know, personally, I wouldn't say it's rubbish, mm. but I do agree with you in the sense that that is not what will um, fulfill your relationship. Salve, God, salvation, that's not what's yeah. going to save you. But I, I do I, think, but I, my point is that like, like, and we spoke about it, basically, I think- This is hot, boy. <laughs> um, is it not a fan? Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's, um, separating culture from the church, I think is quite difficult to do. Now, and I'm not saying culture in just a general sense, but, an African church is going to seem it's going to seem sound and feel different to a church yeah, in France. Yeah, definitely. So, in the same way that we're all serving the same God, we're, the expression of that is going to be, it's going to look different. So, somebody might say, "No, in this church, our culture is that we want to cover our head." Ahead. In this church, our culture is that for as soon as everyone gets in this door, one hour tongues, nobody should say a word. In this church, it's okay, cool. We're going to start with praise and worship because we want to praise God first. Do you get me? It's all, it's all, we're all leading, we're all like going to the same I place. don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I'm saying, can I see the fruits of that in your life and I won't have nothing to say? Yeah. Absolutely. But the thing yeah, is, we that's... can, my thing is, Should, we, do you understand? Yeah. We, so I don't give a damn if you can pray in tongues for two yeah, hours. If, there, bro. if there's no, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, what I, can't, I don't give a damn yeah. if you walk past a homeless person and you tell that homeless person, God bless yes, you, and you can't leave change. them with nothing. Yeah. Why are you speaking in tongues? Yeah. Mm-mm. See, I don't care about that stuff. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying yeah. to say? Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. I'm just saying there's a sense of like, I don't think it's necessarily about any practice at all. Right, right. You're, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you in the sense that it's, it's all about the heart. It's all about your relationship with God. Are you actually showing fruits? Are you, are you seeking him daily? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, everything else cool, you can, you can I don't even say garnish it, but it makes, Sha, this is the bread. Yes. He is the bread. Everything yes. else after that is expression, it's culture, yeah, exactly. it's understandable. But as long as everybody is eating from the same bread, Fine, do you get me? Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like that's that's the main thing. But but, but you can't be eating from the same bread if what I'm eating is producing this. It's a lie. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah so yeah. there's something missing yeah, because yeah. the bread that you're talking about to some people could just be coming to church on that day to cover their head and pray. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You no. Don't understand? But in the same way, it could also be somebody. I guarantee. Going, going to another. I church. guarantee you, if more Christians read the Bible, there'll be less prayer. I, I just, pr- I guarantee you, because half of the mm. time when people pray, do you know what they're praying for? They're praying for wealth. They're praying for God to open doors. They're not praying for God's kingdom to come down as it is on earth in heaven. Listen to the prayers in the in the average service today. I don't know about less prayers. Maybe different. No, no. Okay. Yes. Different. Yeah. But even then, faith without works is dead. Please tell me what you need to pray for as a Christian. Oh, there's someone that talks about this, man. I can't his name. What man. you need to pray for as a Christian. Yeah. What? Tell me what is very necessary for you to pray for. Um, hmm. That's interesting, you know. I feel like if we just let's just open that up. Um, what, what, what what do you need to pray for? I feel like okay. I don't know if there's a a right or a wrong answer. I'm not saying you shouldn't pray. Yeah, I'm yeah. just asking what should be prayed for. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. To that I think at the end of the day, um. You speak prayer. Let's see, let's even say prayer. Let's even start there and build it up in it. Yeah. Cool. In my prayer, I'm speaking no, to God. Right? In, yeah. in my, my prayer, I'm speaking to God. So 
there are one different types of prayer. Yep. Two different um, agendas of prayer. I might be praying just to just to fill myself up. I, 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 might, yeah. I might be praying to charge. I might just be praying to just seek God. Yep. I also might just be praying because ah, this day was hard. And I, and I just want to open up to God and speak mm-hmm. to him. Do you get me? So in all of those things, at different stage, at different times, different seasons, I don't think it's a what, sh- what, what needs to be prayed for, what does need to be prayed for. It's more so like what's on my heart. Yeah. However, I do also think that to your point about maybe just praying for wealth or just praying for this or just praying for that, too much of anything is, is a problem. Yeah. So particularly, I think as Christians, praying for God's will to be established, praying for our fellow brothers and sisters, praying for those who are, who are, who are lost currently, who aren't, who aren't believers. I think those should generally be things that make up our prayer life generally, mm. but also just like family, like the list could go on. Do you get me? I don't think like, I don't, I'm thinking about now. I don't, I don't see a cap where you're like, oh, don't pray for this, but pray for that. Do you get what I'm saying? Or right. what, what do you think? What I'm saying is that there are certain prayers that don't need to be prayed for if, you, if, it, if it's already been given to you. Like what? what so you my, so God's, God's spirit gives you the ability to create wealth. The streets of heaven are paved in gold. So why do I need to pray for money? If I've been sent as an ambassador to come into the colony of earth, why would God not, why would God not finance me? I'm just not doing something right. I'm just not walking in line with my purpose. Mm. I'm trying to do something else to make me money to accomplish the purpose that he's given me. But, but, but why am I trying to finance something that he's given me? But take it he back, pays for, for what he's given me. Take it back. Like, on the purpose point, yeah. <clears throat> Let's even start there. Because yeah. you... you you're saying, I get what you're saying, that like, cool. God's giving me a purpose. He's going to finance that. Mm-hmm. Someone's saying to themselves, I don't even know what my purpose is. Do you get me? Yeah. So, so there are like, in, I agree sure. that maybe just praying for, oh God, give me money, give me money. Is, 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 is not, you can pray it, but there are prayers and then there are specific prayers. You know, sometimes when you're praying about something, yeah, and God drops a word in your spirit and you know that that word in season, in, 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 in um, alignment with what God wants you to pray for in that season or, or, or what you're trying to accomplish in that season just hits the mark because it's specific. Do you get me? Yeah. So I feel like it's, it's, it's almost like graduation from not just praying that God will bless you money, but cool. I know you're just praying that God will bless you with wealth, but what's my purpose? Yeah. Because all of those things will bring that. Do you get what I'm just mm-hmm. saying? So I feel like it's, there's, there's, there's steps to it. Do you get me? Do you yeah, know what I'm yeah. Like steps to, okay, cool, God, what is my purpose? Okay, I know my purpose. How can I now? Those are not, like, bad, pr- those are not bad prayers mm-hmm. because I still pray those prayers. Yeah. Because I want to be reaffirmed and reassured at all times. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think, one thing that people need to understand is that when I speak, I speak to the average Christian. Right. I speak to the ones that refuse to understand that we're meant to live way bigger than what, than what we are. So all of these, all of this intricate stuff about what's said in the Bible, I can't lie. I'm not perfect. Yeah. I'm not yeah. talking from a perfect place. I'm yeah. still reading this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? I'm still reprogramming my mind. I still deal with stuff. Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So the reason why I talk the way I talk is because yeah. I've seen real life. Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. been homeless. Yeah, yeah. I've slept outside. Mm. So I know what power got me out of those kind of places and when I was suicidal, who saved me? Yeah. So when I talk, I, I don't talk out of knowing everything and knowing every single book on this earth or yeah, how many yeah, prophets yeah. are in the Bible. I don't care about this <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm telling you that this God is real. Yeah. Mm. And it cannot be played with. Mm. You cannot be fat as a man. You cannot be lazy. Mm. You cannot know what your vision is and 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 your identity. You cannot mm. because a man who doesn't know his vision and purpose and identity, every single thing that he comes in contact with is abused. Mm. We think abuse is only when a guy slaps a girl or whatever the case may be. No, it's not, bro. No, it's not. If if you receive ten thousand pounds right now. And that ten thousand pounds is used on you just buying a new car, buying a new house, and all of this other stuff. Because you're unaware of your vision. You've abused what God has given you. And yeah. what did God do to the person who buried their talents? Mm, yeah. What did he do? Took yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. It's not a joke, bro. Yeah. 268 men just killed themselves in March. Right. Because they were visionless. They did not have their identity. They did not know what they could do. They didn't know why they were here. They had given up on life. They're looking at Rishi Sunak like Rishi Sunak has any control over their life. When the Bible says that we are in this world, but we are not of it. So therefore your bank balance right now does not reflect what your bank balance is in heaven. Mm -hmm. You are funded without any restraint. Yeah. Do do you understand what I'm trying to say? Let me me ask you, bro. I think even just rolling back, like, or even yet touching on that now, like somebody feels average or even yourself like mm. you mentioned in the fact that like you weren't always this way in it and you were like you know <laughs> i don't want to say that 
obviously how you how maybe how you phrase it in terms of like you were masturbation, but obviously you were going through certain things. You were living life, innit? Like trying to change that reputation about you. Did you find that like difficult? Did you did you really care about it? I like, never had a bad reputation. Right. Do, do do you think that's an issue to have a good or bad reputation? I don't care about reputation. Why why would you say because that? who are you? I don't live for you, nobody's approval. I did back in the day. Yeah. Because again, I was a child that was lost, never seen my dad, was always aware that I, I didn't have a father figure, mm. was always aware that there's something greater in me, but I just didn't understand what it was. Mm. So I'll be going up to man them that are older than me, just because they have a car, whatever the case may be, or they look in a certain way. Yeah. I'll be going up to them, asking them, yo, like, leave me, like, I'm, I'm humble. Mm. Yeah. Like, I'm ready to be... Like, to be guided voice. like yeah. I know I'm a drummer but I know I'm not just more than it was a still small voice that I could never bro I swear to you I could never understand it <clears> until <throat> today it's still here mm. it's like even when I'm doing I know I'm not doing enough because there's more yeah just something I'm trying to say mm. and then paired with God giving me that vision it's like raw. so when I now go back and I look at my life from second from secondary school from primary school, I had the influence. Mm. I was always known. Mm. Secondary school, always known. Uni, known. Mm. I, didn't even, I didn't even get a uni accommodation. I got a house with third years. Yeah. Straight away, first yeah, year. Yeah, that's yeah. motion, that's motion yeah, that's still. Yeah, that's yeah, motion. motion. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you've given me this character because of, oh, the <clears> vision. <throat> People, sense. leadership. Oh, that's why I'm handsome. It's not just for me to be out here beating different girls mm. and to be masturbating and to be sleeping with different women. Oh, yeah. Yeah. it's so that when people actually look at me, I'm actually presentable. Bro, do you know what it is? I was chatting to one of my friends about this, like, because she was basically saying, she was chatting about some other brother, basically, and basically saying about how, like, I think she referred to it as, like, basically, like, lit ministry in a sense that, like, oh, because you're lit, quote, unquote, because people see you as a cool guy or whatever, you're actually bringing people to go to because you're handsome because you're like she's a pretty girl whatever the case may be like do you actually because I didn't really dip to that point like I just thought that like alright cool you're, you're a calm brother like you're relatable do you get me but do you actually see it as like raw like there's actually a reason why God even made me this to look this way well, like, what's intention again you people like, you guys see I don't, I don't know how to sugarcoat stuff maybe God's still working on me no, that's what I keep telling it. people on my see, socials bro, yeah, like, yeah. if you're looking for a pastor or somebody who's the perfect well spoken person yeah, you've got the correct, wrong guy bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do you understand what I'm saying I don't care about political correctness there yeah, are some yeah. people that you look at that you do not want to look at mm. it's very very simple yeah. I'm sure there's bare girls you walk past and you're like ugh <laughs> Keep it a buck. Yeah. 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 Some, uh, well, I say that, I, that's you, that's you. I, I can only talk for myself. I, I'm brave enough to say what, <laughs> what I think. Yeah, there are some it, people that I look at and I'm not, I don't like, you're not pleasurable to look at. Mm. But you wouldn't say uh though, that's my point. You know what I mean? I can't lie, I have said uh. No, I'm not saying man hasn't. We all said, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it is obviously I would I probably wouldn't do that now. Yeah. yeah, yeah do you understand? Because yeah, yeah. I'm more enlightened. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand yes, what I'm saying? Yes, yes, but back in back in the Yeah, there's times when I'll look at somebody, I'll be like, please keep a distance yeah, yeah. Stand based yeah. on how you look yeah. how you look has influence mm. when I walk into a room you must respect me yeah. you can't not respect me I'm fit I'm healthy I don't mm. eat trash mm. I don't allow anything I told, what did I tell you guys as soon as I came in yeah, 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 yeah. because yeah, yeah. that's not yeah, for me do this, that's not for me to prove anything mm. that's for me to protect my heaven I'm in heaven. So in my mind, I can't allow the enemy to have a footstool where I'm looking at um, that chicken and chips there or I'm looking at these sweets. And yeah, I might not eat it right now, but you've already planted it in my mind. So yeah, now there's a first yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. that seed is planted. And now I, I, I'm all of a sudden I'm going home and I just want to go to the shops and get skills. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, like, it's so, it, 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 it's so <laughs> like, it's funny as well because you talk you, you talk a lot about standard. Yeah, you know what I mean like setting a setting a standard like that's important um, because now it means like you have to hold. It's it's, it's the same thing as all, almost like reputation. Like you have to hold me to that regard mm -hmm. because and I'm not gonna settle for less. So you know, okay, cool, okay, cool. So like going forward, if anyone wants to listen to this, like they'll know like ah, right, cool. It's Michael Pepper guy. You don't you, you don't play about them yeah, about yeah, them yeah. suits or nothing, you know. Yeah. Because it's like okay, cool. That's a standard. Or whether it's something like okay, 
bro, like certain things, just don't talk um, about it around. Yeah, yeah, that's just not my vibe. Clean. You know? I get, I get that. You know, but like, that can only about... that can only come from identity. So finish what no, you're no, saying. No, 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 yeah, no, that can only come from identity. Because I actually did a video today or yesterday about this. Mm. Why a lot of people can't, a lot of men who I know have character can't speak up on these things or why men walk into a room and the only thing that they're known for is their drip or what car they drive is because they they don't know who they are mm. do you understand so the moment yeah. you take that thing away from them or you touch their money that's why you see some men when they give money to people or they borrow money they don't pay them back guess what they do they go on social media and start screaming because that money's their god mm. they don't I understand know. that if i give you money and i borrow you money you don't pay me back that money that's fine i plotted the seed it's not you that's going to pay me back. So if you've done me dirty after I've given you my trust, that's, you're going to reap that. that. That's got nothing to do with me. Okay. Yeah. So the person who takes revenge is God. I yeah. always tell people, it's yeah. better I beat you up than for me to tell God to take revenge. Mm. If you do me dirty, it's better I beat you up. Or compared to me saying, Lord, you see what you've done to me? Have your way. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. And you see that that, that, that one's second because when it says that vengeance yeah, vengeance, for the yeah, Lord, vengeance, yeah, 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 yeah. it's a long That one is different. Before, but yeah, no. Uh, so that, character allows you to have this kind of confidence. Yeah. And that's what I teach men. I take men who are down, depressed, anxious, fearful, struggling with addictions and I transform them in eight weeks yeah. through fitness. Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because yeah. as soon as your body's right, yeah. you, can't, you can't fake this, bro. Do you know what is here? Like, I think... I think when you spoke about like not necessarily caring about reputation, yeah, like, I remember I know there's a scripture that talks about like I think so. It's funny back to the to the point on pastors, isn't it? You know the scripture that talks about how like um, a pastor, or, like somebody in the church, should be like um, the husband of one wife should have his kids yes. in order. Should be yes, yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but but it, it like it, should it, be, it, yes, it, like, it pertains to like um, sorry, it pertains. It touches on the fact that they should be of good, good reputation, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good rapport. So when I think when I when I look at it scripture as well, like. My, my focus drew to that because I was like, okay, cool. Like, although, like you said, it's a, I don't know, I'm asking myself, it's, it's a balance because at the same time, I shouldn't care what anyone's saying about me. But God is saying that there is a certain, there's, there, there, is, there is a certain level of attention I need to pay to how I am perceived. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I don't think so. I think that the attention that you need to focus on is seeking first the kingdom of God. Did, why, what stopped Moses from immediately taking action on what God told him to do? His reputation what he thought about himself and what other people thought about him he was scared of that yeah yeah no no so i'm saying i'm saying i'm not i'm not um so i'm saying i know that as a christian who knows my identity in christ yeah i shouldn't necessarily care about what other people think of me but we've seen in scripture that god is saying that there is some like you need to be of good reputation yeah. you, get you are of good reputation representation when you seek first the kingdom of god because you now have his character in every single thing that you do so if you worry about your reputation it stops you from focusing on that which you need to focus on mm, mm. so i reply to things very very detailed that's, that's why yeah. it seems like it doesn't make sense what i'm saying so my reputation is naturally taken care of because yeah, now yeah, 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 yeah. he's he, he prepares a table in the presence of my enemies he leads me through the path of righteousness for his name's sake yeah. So therefore, if I'm seeking first the kingdom of God yeah. for his name's yeah, sake, yeah, my yeah. character is already Ready. changing. Yeah, 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 so my yeah, reputation yeah, yeah. is taken yeah. care of. Okay. Okay. So I don't need to sit down and think about, oh, this person knew me, or I sent this new to this girl back in the day, or I don't have peas right now, or my I'm living in... I don't need to think about that. Mm. Yeah. I'm a messenger. I've been sent. Mm. So it's either you eat from my fruits or you die. It's very simple. I had a dream the other day. And that dream was, I put it on my Instagram, I can't remember it, but I received a prophecy from a woman called Haley Melinda, yeah? Oh, Absolutely yeah. amazing person. I was on her yeah. Instagram live one day and I was just saying under my breath, God, look, test this spirit. I'm tired of people coming online and be saying that God spoke for me. <laughs> test this spirit, Joe. <laughs> if this woman is of God, confirm something. Boy, mm. she began speaking. I've never spoken to this girl about anything in my life, nothing. But she gave me a prophecy that has been confirmed for years. Ah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So anyway, yeah. about two weeks later, I had a dream. Mm -hmm. And that dream was that it was just an open ocean and there were thousands of men or people. Mm. Thousands, people. I'll try and help this one. This one will say, no, get off me. Pride, ego. I'll try and help this one. This one will be like, yeah. Thank you, pull me up. There are some people that will just drown themselves. Yeah. They've just given up. Okay. Then there's some people that wanted help. There's some people that I couldn't get to. There were some people. And it was like, for me, it's like, 
I don't know what God's what I'm still trying to find out what was trying to show me there, but I feel like a revival is trying to happen and some people don't want to come. Some people want to come. Some people have accepted their life and who they are. Mm-hmm. They they want to die like me and men when they've been called gods. Mm-hmm. Like those are the people I'm trying to help. The which ones are you? The ones that recognize that yo, I'm living average. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do you understand what I'm okay, saying? Yeah, those yeah, are the yeah. ones that I want to save, the ones that actually want to be yeah. helped. So this thing is so it's so simple even if you don't read the whole bible and you just read genesis like that alone will open your mind as to what's actually possible in this world no but you, you said you said something about um um reputation yeah that um like if you seek ye first kingdom of god that yeah. essentially will take care of itself right like but i don't know like it's true but like if you look at the disciples though they were on a mission they were commissioned to do whatever and ever but they got killed though so mm-hmm. surely not reputation but if you're saying that if it will take care of it so why did they have to be murdered brutally that means surely that was the old testament no that's new testament bro disciples. the disciples. disciples what happened to him they, some of them the majority of them some man some man got crucified some man you know the different deaths and that yeah yeah of course philip, because oh, no not philip no continue 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 yeah but that, how, but then how would that pair with the reputation taking why care were of they itself? crucified you're teaching me now why were they crucified no just because um only Look, thing, I think I think only one was crucified. To be fair, no, no, one was crucified. Like they all, all of them died John, apart, apart John, from James or something. John, John got beheaded. Yeah, yeah. Um, someone, got, like, someone got, someone got, someone got, someone got P- stone. P- Peter got crucified upside down. Another yeah. one got crucified with an X or something. Someone, someone got, got boiled stone. alive or so, something yeah. like that. What's the question? So essentially, what I'm trying to say is, if they were all seeking God right and doing God's mission, and you said that their character and stuff, it should take care of itself. Yeah, bro. So how would that pair with their quote unquote good reputation if they were? killed in such a way their reputation wasn't good because they were proclaiming somebody was god that the pharisees could never believe that it was god their reputation wasn't good yeah so. to them to, so, to, so to some people my reputation won't be good because i'm okay so some people whoa, 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 want to crucify whoa, whoa, whoa. me yeah, some I, people are commenting on my stuff like you don't know what you're saying it's blasphemous to compare yourself and say you're a god you see people don't even understand that it's blasphemous to say you are not something that god has called you to be do you understand? So if I've called you royal priesthood and you say, no, I'm not, that's blasphemous. Because who are you to say you're not? Who? How can a TV be created by Samsung and that TV turns back to Samsung and says, I'm not a TV, I'm a mouse? How does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I think I saw somewhere though, they say, you know that, you know the God thing with the, with the like lower capital G, lower case G yeah. and stuff. Like, I think someone said that. Sorry, wait, before we go there, did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. Okay. So essentially, it's like, um, so the lower, I think someone said something like, it's to do with kind of... When you come in allegiance of God, you will be crucified. It's just that crucifixion, the crucifixion he talks about is not the way it's presented in the Bible. It says, the, all of these things are just examples of, in their times, what it looked like. Mm. Now, in our times, yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. it's going to look like people cussing me out. Mm. It's going to look like people oh, yeah, telling totally me, different. I don't know what I'm okay. talking about. Yeah. Do you right, understand? Cool, 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 and yeah. the crucifixion yeah. is even personal for me. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be, there's a buff thing right now, but I can't look at her mm. because if I look at her, that's going to allow the enemy to plant a seed in me and I have to deny my flesh. That's yeah. also a crucifixion, a yeah. daily crucifixion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. I want to wake up at 7 a.m. today. But I can't do that because I know that those two hours in the morning, it, it, I need you that need with that. God. Yeah, that's yeah. What yeah. Because yeah. if I wake up at seven, I wake up anxious because now I need to get to the gym at eight. I don't have enough time. I haven't pretend, prepared my mind. I don't know if I'm going to encounter someone on the way. And because I haven't aligned myself with God's will and allowed him to speak to me and pour things into me in the morning, I might say something in that conversation that might alter the destiny. You might have watched Supercell, right? Yeah. yeah. You know what happens when you go into the past and you try and you change things? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. Yeah, For me, it's like, that's how I see God as well. He started from the end to the beginning. So our story has been written. So any step that we take out of line, yes, he makes all things work out for our good, but it could take longer. Mm. It could delay mm, okay. if you're out of line. Should I delay is dangerous, bro. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I hear that one, though. So if I decide right now to go and masturbate, bro, there's a message that you probably want us to deliver to me in that moment. Yeah, but, but yeah, oh, fact, oh, you're meant to, yeah. I, yeah. I, remember, I remember seeing, um, sorry to interrupt, I remember seeing a guy talk about this. Um, he's like a young minister as well. And he was I'm talking about- quarter, like crazy. No, 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 yeah. Thank you. Um, he was talking about how, uh, oh, what did he say? Like, so he was going through the same kind of thing. Like there was one day, like, so he had, he had overcome, by God's grace, he had overcome um, like, like bashing, um, like all of that stuff, yeah? Like sexual sin. And then there was one day like, he just felt it. Like he was in bed, he just felt it. Like, and he was like, oh, like, cool. 
um, he was gonna give in to the temptation and he said no nah, like do you know it is like I know what I know what I've been called to do so he brushed it and then like five minutes later his mum came in and his mum like she felt a bit anxious she felt like a like a pain mm. or something in her chest and he prayed in it he prayed over her and the pain ceased so she was calm she felt calm but it was that it was that thing of like if he had fell yeah. five ten minutes before that authority that he that he had in that moment mm. yeah impossible he wouldn't he he wouldn't be able to muster up that faith yeah because it's like I had just fallen, so like, who am I to now come into this into this atmosphere and now demand that spirit to come out or that, 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 that spirit is now in him? Plus, you know plus I, mean? I think it's also a thing of like the fact that he denied himself in that moment yeah. was almost like what kind of fueled that fire. Mm. That mm. Yeah. Be like, okay, you, this power is now with you. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I'm gonna say? This power, like, to to because you've given of yourself, mm. like. This is what is with you now yeah. to kind of like speak this word, and, it? and it's mad. Like, I, and I know, like, even when he was speaking about that, like, the devil kind of knew that call. Cool, like, this is Sha, the devil's crafty as well. Do you yeah. know what I mean? He's like, okay, cool, I'll do this and then I'll do this so that, like, Sha, it's not really gonna work. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, but, but, hey, but separately, though, I wanted to ask you, like, this is kind of like a dumb question because when you were talking about never a dumb question, bro. When when you were talking like when you were talking about your um your um twenty one day fast, right? You said that obviously, yeah, obviously you do gym and whatever. Do you get what I'm saying? So like. How did you get your protein in and then that? No, is that, is that a dumb question? Sacrifice, bro. Fez. That's what God had to strip from me. Okay. Were you still going or no? I couldn't go. Oh, okay. I think I went for the first week. Yeah. Oh, and but then, then after yeah. that. Yo. Sad. Yeah, I was thinking, what? I did one day like this, my head was doing bad. Yeah, it's like, oh, you know what you're trying to say? I can't lie. Uh, gym, no. gym and fasting. No, if you do it, you, is it? What? Like, no, no, this no, you can still, you can yeah. still go no, gym. No, no, boys. I lied. I didn't go gym. I was in... You see, no, but yeah, no, you can't, that do, one you yeah, can't do a twenty-one day fast as in, oh yeah, I just want to fast. Yeah, and I just oh wanna, yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have to lock in. It's yeah, not yeah, even that. In. You have to lock in. It's not so. even that. It was a place of hunger. It was a place of pain. Mm. Jesus didn't go into the garden and start praying and start fasting all of it and tell these guys to keep watch because he just wanted to. Yeah, he had been told that you're about to die on the cross. Mm. Yeah, you're about to get crucified. You're about to have nails through your feet. Mm. How dare you not fast? <laughs> How are you going to do that with your flesh? Yeah, in your yeah, flesh? Yeah, yeah. Impossible, impossible, impossible. I, yeah, impossible. I say no. Pot, I say no. So bro. when you're fasting, you're actually going to your burial. Yeah. You're literally killing your flesh. You're, you're literally yeah. killing your yeah, flesh. I see, I see, I see, I see. I see so I, see. I finished my fast and I was even begging myself to eat. Yeah. <laughs> my body couldn't tell me to eat. You couldn't tell bro, me to eat. The thing is, I've been chatting to people about this, you know, like someone was chatting, I was chatting to one of my friends and they were saying the same thing that like, when you've, when you've had certain like, when fasting one is like a, a a consistent habit, like a regular thing that you do, yeah. and you've done it in in in, in a deep in the, way, yeah, yeah. your relationship with food is not the same. They can yeah. kind of, you can kind of go about food like, yeah, just yeah, right. get, get to a point. Like yeah. I have to say like, I have to eat Bro. now. Yeah, so me, actually, yeah, to be real, I, me, I'm not there. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't yeah, lie. There, I was even I, like to, I was even talking to to, to Phil about it the other day. Yeah. Bro, fasting. I don't know if I like it. Like, oh, you're, you're not meant to like it, but do you know what I mean? Like, it's a bit like, you know, is I I feel like you see with fasting there, like. I can't be wishy-washy with it. Yeah, no. Like, mm. I, I think when I realised the importance, like, how, how how beneficial fasting is, is when you actually take the time out. You see these, like, watch hours, like, you see, like, t- like taking the time out to actually pray when you're meant to be eating. Yeah. I feel like it really, it really... Oh, my God. It really... That's just, the like, most powerful one. It really shifts everything for me mm. because now it's like, I'm starving my flesh and I'm literally yeah, feeding my yeah. I'm actually eating. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Whilst your flesh is screaming, yeah, yeah, yeah. you said, oh, you're yeah. hungry. Yeah. 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 Shut up. We're this. Shut this. The match you are. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. praying. Yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I'm trying to say? And it, like, bro, like, I've seen, like, I can I can actually say, like, I, I've seen, like, a lot of change in the, 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 oh, fam, the But can you not see how it is in the world, though? What do you mean? Fasting is everywhere. You know when all of these psychological or psycholog- psych- psychologists, yeah. mm-hmm. you know when they say replace habits, what's that? Yeah, that's basically that. Is that not denying replace yourself? What do you mean? What's so that? if you're a smoker, they tell you use nicotine patch. Yeah. Uh, if you are somebody who deals with anxiety, they'll say replace it with something. Play this music, do ASMR, whatever the case yeah. may be. All of that kind of stuff is fasting. In, in what? A, in, in, a, what? In, a, in another form. In 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 oh. a in a worldly way. That's 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 it. Because you're anything. The only, the only difference with fasting is that you're actually replacing it with the bread of life, mm. the, the word yeah. of God. Yeah. So you are now allowing God to reign because you know God has no power over us right now mm. unless we give him access, right? Mm. That's what your prayer is. Mm. Your prayer is, yo, come in. Yeah. Come and have your way. Yeah. You yeah. have authority here. Yeah. Come and affect my environment. Okay. Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying yeah, to say? I understand, I understand. But fasting now is you have full control. Yeah. Like, 
You see, when you look at a pipe here yeah, in your house and that pipe is clogged with dirt and you're trying to get water through, you know sometimes it might just drip. Yeah, small. But small. you see when you fast, yeah, he removes everything. Every, fasting removes everything yeah. from your mind. Your, all of those dirty images. Yeah. All of those lustful thoughts. Even then, though, you yeah, know, I was just about to say that. And it it, it nah. comes up and you're saying, no, nah, you ain't fasted. Bro, I, nah, brother. You, you ain't fasted. Brother, but in the same way, though, like, like you're saying, if, some, if, if this pipe is being unclogged, Where's it going? If, if, if the thought comes to my mind while okay, I'm praying, yeah, yeah, yeah. It and I pass it, 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 it's going up. And the thing is, I think it's more so about like, okay, cool. When this thought now comes, what am I doing with it? If this thought previously would lead me to go and be like, oh, fine, you know, I'm, I'm saying you cannot think like that. I, oh, Jesus Christ. I can't even explain it, bruv. You, you don't understand. It's gone. It's gone. It only came back for me when I, when situations arise and I wasn't aware because it was my first. It was my first fast, yeah. so I didn't know about maintenance after that. I just thought, oh, oh, great, I'm done. I fasted. I'm yeah. done. Yeah, 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 I didn't yeah. know that it's daily warfare. You know, the Bible tells us to protect all our gates: yeah. your eyes, yeah. your ears, yeah. what you see, yeah, what you yeah, taste, yeah. you touch. Yeah. So, I fasted now. Maybe about two, three months later, I've gone and lips one girl. Yeah. Now that sensuality is back in me. <laughs> now I know what kissing feels like again. Now I know what lust feels back again. I've given the enemy a footstool. Mm-hmm. No, but if you if you look at Christ though, when he went to the desert, I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, he was, was cool. away from everything, just locked in essentially. But the devil himself went to him to tempt him. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. So surely, surely there must be. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, 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 nah, this guy's fasting. Nah, we need to amp this up. Do you get what I'm saying? Temptation arises outside of you. It doesn't come from inside of you. He said he had the thoughts. Okay. So I might see a woman and she might tempt me and be like, "Yo, let's sleep together," but I am not lustfully thinking about her when I see her. Because that's different. The seed is already in me. Okay. But she's now trying to implant that seed in me because she, that girl who's coming to me to sleep with me, that's not my wife. That's not married to me. That's not a woman. That's a Jezebel spirit. But bro, same way, bro. Deep it. Like in the same way that in, let's say by God's grace, um, we will have children, right? And we've been, let's even say in that, well, yeah, by God's grace, we'll have, we'll have children. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And at that point, let's say, you know, we're 30 something or whatever, or 40 something. And we've been living this, this life for a while. What's been, downloaded in us at that time like you said out of the bundle's heart the mouth speaks yeah so we're gonna be given this word because it's been implanted in us if for 15 years prior to that someone was bashing every month yeah of course that's what's gonna be that that's not me yeah. that's not, <laughs> i'm joking yeah, but my point is that not like, after a fast we, no, no 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 i'm not saying after a fast or before the fast my main thing is temptation come at any time but it's the fact that before your response is a now my response is I'm taking every thought captive under the beings of Christ. Mm-hmm. This thought, go. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. That's the authority that you now have because because of how you know, like when you fast and you just know, it's like it's like you have instead of like you know, like you'll be in an in, in elevator now on a twenty-story building, you're going yeah. to every floor. It's like when you fast, yeah, floor one to twenty, I'm in a penthouse already, just because of how close you are. Yeah. You don't allow it to rain. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So so I feel yeah. like the fasting almost literally as, as as you are depriving your flesh because your spirit has now this authority. All of these things, where, where now it was like, oh, I have to pray for 20 minutes for this thing to leave me, whatever. It's now, it's a word. Yeah. And I'm going about my day, you get what I'm saying? So yeah. I feel like it's more about like the authorities that we get within fasting. Yeah, I agree. is going to come at any time. I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. But what I think what I'm getting at is your mind does not produce those thoughts. Mm. As I, When I finished fasting, I could look at a girl and not look at her sexually. Honestly. Yeah, no, 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 no. Defo, defo, That's defo, what I'm defo. About. No, no, no. I hate so you. she might yeah, come yeah. and tempt me with everything yeah. that God's given her. Okay, okay. But I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. To me, it's easier for me to say, oh, I know you, Jezebel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. That, that's interesting. Oh, Jezebel, you I just sent me a purple so. slap. Okay. I know you. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. I'm not gonna open it and be like, oh, let me just see. Yeah, uh, that's hey. a uh, uh, <laughs> Woo! Listen, listen, you know this one's there. Yeah, you know, you're not listen, ugly bro. Satan, you, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm saying he will tell you just. See. Yeah, just. Yeah. Let me let me let me just look. Now see how she is. Now don't see how she is. Give us some script. Hey, people, what's going on? It's Sam Sinko. It's Capo here. Listen, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Help us out, man. If you want to see more of us, then do these things we're saying, innit? Send in your dilemmas as well, man. Of course, of course. Bro, honestly, I think I remember, it wasn't not um, Apostle Roman that was saying it, and I thought it was so deep. He was saying, the enemy doesn't mind that if you're a Christian. He just wants you to just be adding and adding and adding. He wants to make yeah. you, um, what did he say? A harlot. Yeah. In a sense that, like, it's not only God that is your God, 
but it's you money something and else. it's this yeah, yeah, and it's girls yeah, yeah. and Can it's this you and see that. why I talk about religious people mm. that's why I talk about them the way I talk about them yeah because I could have been that kid in church who was looking for that do you know how many broken men are in church right now bro do, do you know how many men are broken that are being misled and have turned into passive soft push arounds in the church mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? When you are a man of God, you're a man of valor. Yeah. yeah. So when you speak, they must hear you not in their head, in their hearts. Mm. That's why yeah, my TikToks that's, are going off the way they're that's going interesting. off. That's interesting. That's an idea. Because it's yeah. not me speaking. It's not my opinion. Yeah. I'm taking the little or the chichiri that I've digested. <laughs> I'm giving it back to you. Yeah. And I'm keeping it honest with you at the same time, telling you I'm not a pastor. I'm not perfect either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy, I feel like I'm not perfect. Bro, that's how did you, like... Sorry, sorry, go on, no, go on. Go on, go on, on no, 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 I was just gonna say that, like, we were we were chatting about it because it's like maybe <laughs> no, when you when you first start, like, you first start taking being, it quite seriously, yeah, and you're bit, you're bit, you're you're more open now. You're very like your boys might be saying, "Yo, let's roll here," and you're like, "No, nah, let, let's do this," and you're like, "Nah." And now we're talking about something in the GC. You popped in GC. This ah, oh, pastor, uh, yeah, 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 pastor, uh, and it's like. We were saying that shouldn't really affect you, but it, it like, does. And then sometimes, stage, and sometimes exactly it, it still does. Do you get me? Like, because you don't want to feel alienated, but at the same time, he's called us out. I was, he's called us to be set apart. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, did you ever feel that? Like, you were felt a bit like, I'm feeling a bit like, yeah. on, honestly, on the, on the rose. Yeah, of course. You always get real from me. Yeah, like, yeah. For me, it's like, I had that the other day. Someone called me a pastor. I looked at it twice. The first thing that got me was, are you like, who are you talking to? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean? yeah. I'm so raw, I can't help it. Yeah. So it's like, I was like, okay, cool. It's actually true. It's people that will tell you who you are. Mm. So, oh, you think I'm a pastor? Cool. I, I don't need to know. It's if I now reply and say, God bless you, sir, my humble yeah. servant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the issue. So yeah. it's like, oh no, that's actually respect. Mm. Right there for you to deem me fit to give me that title. Yeah. Oh, crazy. It's an, like, but, but you don't take it as like a little backhanded thing that like it's a sly boy. It's a choice to be offended. True. Very true. Very very true. So, so. you can't offend somebody who knows who they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a fair that. point. Yeah. That, it, was, it was funny. Like I remember one time. Like sorry, bro. And your your you calling me a pastor might also be your lack of ignorance. I don't know if you don't have any words in your dictionary. You don't know because. Somebody else could call me a speaker. I'll feel yeah. cool with that. Yeah, mm. yeah. But I know that you might just be calling pastor because you might just lack the knowledge of what a speaker is. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. I'm going to be the idiot if I get offended. Mm. Yeah. Even, yeah. Like, even but, like, even, no, go over, over, over. Oh, no, I was just going to say that a similar situation even happened. What this was like maybe a year ago. You you might know about power in that year. Yeah. 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 I think um, in, in okay, the day you got a code. Yeah, no, nah, hey fever, innit? Oh. Yeah. yeah. So um, in the, uh, what's it called? In one of them, like, there's there's a guy called Kane there, mm. basically, innit? So I kind of like, like, I think we were discussing it, I kind of likened Kane to Kane and Abel, essentially. Okay. Because Kane's a second child. He's not really shown love. He's, he's not seen as the heir in that. I remember one of the men was like, fam, you know, this good thing. Why are you always relating stuff back to God? Mm. Like, I remember, at first I was like, fam, what the hell? But then after I was like, bro, do you know it is? It's it's like calm because like if you're gonna know me for something, you can know me for God. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? But, um, but you know but initially, initially, bro, it was like, like a like, bro, like, bro, like, bro, like, bro, bro, like, bro, like, bro, like, bro. You just wanna, I'm um, bro. I'm still, you know, we're still boys. Yeah, I'm, saying, I'm just like, talking. Still, I can't, man can't talk normally. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you remember um, Mac? Do you remember Mac? Um, I think he came to uni one time and he yeah. was talking about how like Christians were meant to be alienated. Exactly. Were meant. Were meant. Like we're not. As you, as we we're always saying, we are we are we're not of this world. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So we are the salt and light, like salt for for a reason. Yeah. We're not meant to like be be in this. You get me? We're yeah. not meant to be like sugar. Yeah. You can clearly identify the difference. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Like salt and sugar look the same, but, but tasting taste wise, you. no. But, 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 but remember, remember, I was telling you. Remember, remember that time I went to my boy's like celebration, whatever, because mm-hmm. he, he had something successful. We're just chilling because church was the next day. We're just. Do you know motive, whatever, yeah. ha- happy for you type thing. Do you know what I'm saying? One of my boys is like, bro, are you going to pray for forgiveness tomorrow in church? I was like, bro, man, just celebrate my boy. Like, do yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's almost like a family. Like, man can't just... like. Yeah, but I think the reason why people get irritated at that stuff, especially Christians that have a relationship with God, yeah. the real ones, there's still a misunderstanding or there's a lack of knowledge of something. Mm. When you understand that first, this life is spiritual, those things do not move you. So anytime somebody makes that kind of statement or they, I've noticed there's like an irritance about what I'm saying or I know it's not you. 
It's the spirit that's within you. Mm, okay. So even as I'm speaking right now, I'm not talking to this. This is this can go anytime. Yeah. I'm talking to the spirit that's in you. Like, mm. So all those people that message me and they're irritated by me calling them fat and saying men can't shouldn't be fat and all that kind of... That's the spirit of gluttony that I'm speaking to that's irritating you. Uh. This is you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. This is sly. This sly reminds me of... Do you remember when... Was it Paul and Silas that were getting... Um, that, 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 um, that girl... The girl that could like prophesy oh, demon possessed yeah. girls yes, yes, that yes, kept yes. on bugging them. They kept on bugging them. And it's like... That's what happens when it's like... Cool. If, if they can acknowledge that there's a spirit of God that's within you, yeah. that's not going to rest with them. Do you get me? Especially if the spirit is against them. Do you get me? So because of that, they're slightly going to torment you in that kind of way. Do you mm. get me? And then that's when obviously, was it Paul and Silas or just Paul? But I, no, I, I think it was, it was Paul and somebody. Yeah, 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 she went to prison yeah, yeah, for yeah, it couple, afterwards or something. So wait, you're talking about the story of the demon possessed girl when they were basically... What did they, what no, was, no, was, no. Was, she, 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 what did you say she was? Oh, no. no, she was psychic or something. Yes, yes, yes. She's like, these are men of God. No, no, no. She followed him for time. And she was she was making she was making money for for her masters or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. And then because they casted out the the spirit within her, they then went to jail because then I lost their profit. But in a sense of like how how we were just talking how you man were just talking about how like cool um it's not gonna sit right with certain people yeah. so because of that they're gonna they're gonna be poking at you they're gonna be poking at you so it's scriptural basically what yeah no no i get what saying completely i'm saying you get me yeah. so yeah no nah, just wanted to full circle full yeah circle man right like, that, all of that stuff there is you you just don't argue and the bible even says don't get involved in those kind of conversations yeah. that waste time and even kill your spirit yeah. i don't argue with people anymore do you understand what i'm trying to say because i'm just doing something you should be doing yeah you've got an opinion on what i'm saying Start your platform and start talking about this stuff then and say the way that I am not saying it. Yeah. But leave me to handle the men that are actually I actually have their hearts and they actually depend on me to show up every single day. Mm. But how do you feel about like at the same time, you know, where I didn't like like your um correcting, instructing, do you feel like if somebody gave you correction on something, you'd be able to take it in the same way? Depending on who you are. If you have never been to war in your life, do not speak to me. If you don't have scars, if you ain't never really sat down and been humbled, you cannot speak to me. Apart from that, I'm not a man who's guided by himself. Mm -hmm. I have counsel. Because what does yeah. Proverbs say? A man who is amongst counsel, yeah. will, that life leads to wealth. Yeah. So I have leaders. I have mentors. I have, bro I have people that I actually sit down to and... I, Yo, am I doing this right? Am no, I in the right place? No, but just quickly on that though, because remember we was talking about sometimes like God uses the things considered foolish to like yeah. put shame the way. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so don't you think God could be like ah, like someone who maybe he he may he or she may not have gone what you've gone through, but God's given them like even though they may not, may not have been through, God could use anybody. It's like actually maybe so 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 and so. Do you not think you'd be able to? Do you get what I'm saying? Because God could use anybody. I'm still trying to understand how that person will come to me and what that person would say. It depends. So let's say, let's say, for, let's put a context on it. So let's say someone. By the way, I believe in. I don't know anything, and I'm. I can learn anything at any time. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah, understand. Yeah, 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 I think yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my heart posture. Okay, I, I, okay, I think, okay. I think that that then answers kind of the question. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah okay, then. All right. Cool. Uh, that's my heart posture. Okay, cool. Times. Yeah, no, no, cool. Yeah, because yeah. then uh, at least you can say like, okay, cool. You can learn literally something from anyone. Bro. I can have a stature or status. Yeah, yeah bro. bro I, I'm in the gym and I ask men them who are skinnier than me, yeah. like yo. How do you, like, I see the way they do, their form is on point. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I love yeah, that, bro. I feel dropped the pride, bro. I love so that. I, I don't have, there's no, you can't live the life I've lived, yeah? You can't be homeless. You can't have slept outside on the street and lost every single thing that you've had, your baby pictures, your everything in your life, yeah. and had to start your whole life again and be in a place of pride. Mm. I ain't got no more ego. That's why I talk the way I talk. I don't yeah, care yeah. who comes from me. Yeah. That's why it's so real and it's so raw. Because mm. I've lost everything you could ever hold mm. onto and say, this is mine. I've lost it all. Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, and I've gained yeah. it back. Okay. So I know that there's no way that that was possible without God. So how dare I get on a platform and start speaking about how perfect I am? Yeah. How dare I get on a platform and not tell my mm. them that, yo, I've been through that war, you know? You see that addiction you're dealing with? I got rid of that. Mm. I controlled that. Mm. You can do it too. Yeah. So when I speak, I need it to be understood that, yo, this guy is speaking from some one boy that grew up with mummy and daddy and some soft life. Nah. Yeah. And that's why it irritates me when certain people, yes, I can be corrected, bro. Yeah, but yeah. when I see certain people talk to me and they still live in their mum's house, yeah, and they've never been through real war. Yeah, I see what and I'm when saying. I'm talking about war, I'm talking about the fight of your vision. 
the fact where you lose everybody around you and nobody understands why you care so much about this thing and people are coming up to you telling you stop talking about men's mental health nobody cares mm. and you feel like a no, waste no, man no, that's and people are coming up to you and telling you why are you crying on camera you look like a waste man I thought you were Michael Pepper Michael Pepper shouldn't be crying yeah. you see when you have to deal with stuff like that stuff that affects your ego and you have to make a decision between a good thing and a God thing, yeah. you see, those are the kind of people that can speak to me. Mm. Because before I started doing all this stuff, I wasn't just blowing because of these videos I started making two weeks ago. Mm. My Instagram, my TikTok account has been on 56K. I've got viral videos mm. that have done over a million views, plus more. I've got Ira Star in my videos. So what are we talking about here? Yeah. God gave me influence. So it was either I was going to use his influence that he's given me for a good thing, or for his purpose. Yeah. But I'm always going to, bl I was designed to blow. I can't be average. I'm going to be in people's faces. That's, yeah. that's just the gift that he's given me. Mm. Do you know what, what I'm trying to say? You know, yeah, I feel like even on that, like when it comes to even taking, uh, taking correction or taking advice or something from, from people who don't look like it or maybe not, because I guess it's easy to see someone who's been through what you've been through to tell you something. Like, do you know what it is? I'm, I'm, I'm going to hear my man out, you know what I'm saying? But mm. I feel like, when it's not that, when it doesn't come packaged in a certain way, I think the only thing that can open up our hearts and our minds to that is genuinely just sensitivity to God. I'll give you an example. Yeah, Thank I remember, you. I remember my dad, yeah, I think he was having like a prayer meeting whatever at, at the crib and um, God, t God told him, God told him, don't say anything. I'm going to speak through that girl. And my, there was no one in the, it was, I think, let's even say it was all men's, it was uncle, aunts, whatever. Mm. And my sister came down randomly. She was like, oh yeah, dad, like I just wanted to read a scripture that, I saw in this, da, 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 mm. da, da, and she said the scripture, whatever, and it was exactly like the answer to her prayer, Crazy. for example, do you get what I'm saying? Mm. But mm. ordinarily, she's walking into a prayer meeting. If I should just, do you get what I'm gonna say? Yeah. Like, but in that moment, it's a sensitivity to be yeah, like, yeah. let this child speak. So mm. I feel like even when somebody doesn't look like it or doesn't sound like it, because even if it's a person that is like, should be able to give you advice. It might not be the advice that God actually wants us to hear. Bro, like, but it might be that person that doesn't look like they're anything, that only person that's saying, mate, take the take 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 the left stairs today. Um, Do you know what I'm saying? Now, it's on that thing, you're but, not here, God. But you know see, see, that's where humility comes in. Exactly. Because yeah, yeah. if you're somebody who's never been to the gym in your life mm. and you've just started the gym and you happen to come in to the gym on that day when I'm training and you say something mm. and you give me a correction, me, myself, I will know where I'm struggling. Yeah. So if that thing, if that thing that you've just told me to do, that correction, to my Bobby Lara, that means that if it, if it meets me yeah. inside, if, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, if yeah. I know that it's yeah, my no, truth, yeah. Yeah. then I would be silly not to take that advice. Yeah. That's when I listen. Mm. I listen through conviction. If what you said has convicted me, uh-uh, mm. who I be? Yeah, yeah. But when you come and you want to say your opinion yeah. of how I should do what you are not doing, yeah, 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 yeah. it's long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys like me, we're saying. hungry. I'm, I'm aggressive with my stuff. I'm aggressive with what I believe in because mm. this is real life. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow ain't promised for me. You yeah. guys, what, what, what time is it now? 10, 50. Yeah. So who told you I'm going to get home safe? Who told you you're going to get home safe? Mm. It's vanity to plan for tomorrow. Yeah. That's in scripture. It's by yeah. his grace. Yeah that we wake up tomorrow. Mm. So that's why I talk the way I talk because yeah. there are, there are men that are actually out here waking up at 12 PM and think it's okay. Yeah. There are actually men that are out here eating whatever the hell they, they can, they want to eat and think it's actually okay. Mm. You see anything that doesn't empower you to walk, to, to walk towards your vision, yeah. the attainment of that vision, anything or anyone. How many arguments I had with my mom? I should right now be a civil engineer who's on 70. That was my mom's plan for my life. Probably, what, 70K? Because yeah. I got an m -Eng, So I would have done oh, three years yeah, 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 yeah. and finished yeah. with a master's. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was, a, I was on a top course. Serious degree, by the way. Ah, very, serious about, de yeah. very, very serious degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. that, that yeah. men just, bro, when I see men on set, yeah, man, it's not a joke. Man, that's maths, that's further maths. Yeah, boy, yeah. yeah. Shout, shout out to you, bro. That's, that's the big three. So yeah. That's yeah. the big three. So yeah. that could have been the plan for my life. Yeah. I would have never met the people I've met. I would have mm. never done the TV shows I've done. I yeah, would have never had the following real, I have. Bro, yeah. I'll be living a mundane life and I'll be happy yeah. because I've got money and I've never been exposed and I never had that pain. Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, 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 when yeah. I look at Jesus' story and I see that this guy was born in a manger, ah, a king, mm. the one that's going to set us free yeah. and kill that sting of death, mad. Mm. Every single CEO that I see that I'm inspired by, yeah. it's the same story. Yeah. There was a time of purification, yeah. of knocking, 
knocking, knocking on that door of that vision mm. and it finally came to life. Mm. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And that's all I care about. Do you get me? Yeah. That's all I... That's... that. These kind of conversations, that's even one of the reasons why, I can't lie, my bedtime is 9pm. So oh, I should man. I should have X this. I should have yeah. done this. Yeah. No, appreciate like, bro. for real, because these conversations need to have an, happen. Mm. I appreciate guys like you that are doing what you're doing. Because again, yeah. even this takes... Diligence. Yeah. What episode is this? Sixty-eight. Yeah. Diligence. Yeah, yeah they don't yeah, know that. They don't know. Uh, what someone wants to come out? If we show pictures of what this studio guy, first looked like first, in, in our bro, room, first bro. ten episodes we're recording the crib. Come on, man. Recording the crib with yeah. why Max went on shoebox. Max went on shoebox. Come on, bro. You don't know it was in my room. Yeah. And then the second year we went, we went Philip's room in Nini. That's bro, character, they don't know, man. Yeah, man. They don't That's know. character. You're approaching a hundred episodes. I keep yeah. telling man, if you haven't done something at least a hundred times, you cannot open your mouth and say it failed. Mm. Mm. It doesn't make sense. Mm. Okay, I went to the gym for two weeks. Okay, and so how many days is that? Two weeks. Mm. <laughs> Just done. Yeah. Have people message me rubbish, bro. Hey, bro, can't lie. Slice, 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 switch. Yeah, but I was. It was something I wanted to ask in it, like. Um, on the gym thing, yeah. Obviously, oh my like you said, bro. obviously, you've added, you know what I'm saying, you've cut. When you're like on holiday now, yeah, do you think, do you ever think about modesty in the way you dress? Particularly knowing that you look a certain way, a girl could see, a woman could see you and feel like, ah, I love some of that. Like, as a male, you know especially. Say, as a male, like, especially. Do you, do you, have, you, have you had that thought before? If, I, if a girl will look at me in a lustful way. No, but... Not necessarily about the girl looking at you last way, but about you being modest and how you dress. Like, has that has that ever crossed your mind? Um, modest. <sighs> yeah, no, but do you not think that's a pro- exactly? Do you not think that's a problem, car? We like like generally the church speaks to to, to women, whatever. Ah, cover yourself, do this, dress like this. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, I think it's common sense. Maybe that's why I'm struggling with words. Mm. I know I'm muscular. Yeah. And I know that if I walk into a room, fem- females find me attractive. Yeah. Mm. So I know that if I wear a certain top, top and I'm going to church, mm. I'm being very silly. Yeah. But yeah, the yeah. thing is, I'm seven being man, cheeky. Yeah, but I we'll think that. Bro, Jamie, bro, bro, didn't bro that. I, I would have never thought that. I would no, never, I've never really thought that. Literally, until we started probably speaking about that, rather, like, actually, it's not really. You're not in the same way that, like, if a girl wore certain things to, to church, you might be like, okay, this is a bit much. The same way, bro, like, if you've got a certain body type or whatever the case may be, and you're wearing an extra tight tee, you're wearing a vest. No, like, they do know. Like, huh? They do know. You can't walk into. Uh, if I walked in here and I, and I was wearing a suit, would you guys not feel weird? Yeah. Okay, great. So there's already a weird, there's already an atmosphere that's created. Things things don't have to be spoken. When a girl wears a mini skirt to church, she cannot open her gob <laughs> and tell me that she doesn't feel uncomfortable. You're a liar. It's your pride and your ego that will make you want to defend yourself because you're already in a defensive state. Yeah, but I, I'm saying that as, as I think the difference between girls and guys is like, girls, this conversation has Yeah, been, yeah, exactly. From when, from when they're little, it's like, you know, dress like this, don't show this, don't show that. But for man them, you're getting that body because you want to get that tea mm. to fit properly. Mm. But you're, I, I, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought years ago, rah, like, because I'm wearing um, a muscle fit tea, it's an issue. The matter of appearance never, never really the combo. I, I can't lie, all of these conversations would not be happening if people stopped religion and got into relationship. Because when I'm dressing up, yeah, I know what God's telling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... I know whether I'm being convicted to wear this or whether I'm not okay, being convicted okay, to wear this. Okay. So we only speak about, again, all of these things, he was talking to people who were asking, was it not the Pharisees that were asking all these questions? Yeah, about okay, I see. So you guys still need to remember who, uh, who, who's asking, asking the questions, these questions originally. These are people that don't understand re- um, yeah. relationship. They, yeah. are, they, they were just reading the Torah yeah. and saying, oh, I'm trying to apply this and I can't do that one, Lord. Oh, how do I do this one? They were trying to do everything. I, no, yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying. But when you have a relationship with God, you sit down, you see if you're new to church, I don't mm. care if you're half naked and if you're just wearing what Kanye West's wife's wearing come to church bro yeah that's do you understand yeah, come, yeah, as, you yeah, come as you are yes, yeah. do you understand mm-hmm. but if you're somebody who is seasoned and has been to church and you're still saying you're struggling with modesty yeah who get the actors off of the stage yeah like can you actually stop acting yeah mm-hmm. no nah, and the thing is it talks about in the bible about like you know when I was a child, I thought like a child. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but now that I'm a man, man. Do you yeah. know what I'm yeah. Even elsewhere, it speaks about like spiritual milk. Like, do you not crave yeah, exactly. meat? Do you yeah. Yeah. So yeah. There is, oh, yeah. you have yeah. these silly, obviously we already know women talk, the, the conversation about women is already there. We have these silly women that say stuff like, oh, I'm, I'm big boned or I just have a big bum or whatever the case may be. Why is it me? If another skinny girl wears this, she wouldn't have the same thing. Well, duh. Mm. 
She's not, she doesn't have your body. So you can't even compare yourself and what you can wear to that girl. Yeah. You should be disciplined enough within your character to know that, oh, oh boy, me, I have this What's thing. So I can't wear that. Yeah. I can't go to church and wear a tight white top, bro. It's impossible. Even past yeah, yeah, yeah. speak. It'll be long. Okay, People, yeah. It'll, it'll be long. I should be turning. But again, it's tough, man, because it's like telling a telling a girl that has a certain shape that she can't wear the same thing someone else is wearing, telling a brother that he can't wear the same thing that someone else is wearing. It's tough. But I do hear that it's almost a it's your own consecration. It's your own sacrifice that what you do have you mean to make. It's tough. I'm saying I'm saying looking at because they're gonna say why shouldn't because it's me, why do I have to go the extra mile just because this is where that my body is? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because they might have to do a lot more dress a lot more to who more is given mo- much is required yeah. read your bible <laughs> that's it much body no. I'm, I'm being serious yeah, 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 yeah. I, get, I get what you I get what read you your bible all of these principles are practical in our day to day lives and in, in the smallest decisions that we make yeah so yes God has given you more body he's, he's made you more voluptuous than Sarah yeah. who looks like this mic yeah right. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah we love you though we yeah we still love you Sarah yeah. everybody Sarah, deserves yeah. love yeah. But, especially, especially after do you know what I mean <laughs> but don't be sitting here complaining if yeah. you go and get surgery and get it removed then if that's yeah. the case mm. and stop saying uh-huh. you're a Christian mm. just stop it the moment you say and you attach Christianity yeah. onto yourself you are now you now have expectations and responsibilities on your life. Yeah. There is a character that people are looking to you for. Mm. And that's what annoys me. Mm. Why is it that I thought this guy's my brother? All of these group chats that people like to start. I say you're my brother and you say how much you love God and God's all over, all over your bio. And then when we link up, you're talking to me about weed. Yeah. You're talking to me about this girl that you just linked. See, that's the stuff that annoys me because it's like, oh my God, this looks so good from the outside. You open it and then it's custard donuts. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Custardness as well. No, I don't. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah, no, dead. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want everything that's beautiful on the outside, beautiful on the inside, kid. Yeah, yeah. So I want everything that 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 God gives me. I want every single thing. I want his character, bro. I need to remember this is again, this is somebody who's I wasn't that bad. It's not like I was out here sleeping around. I didn't lose my virginity until 21. Yeah. So it's not like I was bad. I would say my main struggle was always masturbation because yeah. I was looking for love. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was mm. looking for comfort. Oh, okay. mm. Do you understand? There was yeah, something yeah, missing. Yeah. There's always been something missing that I'm, I'm trying to find. Do you understand yeah, what I'm yeah, trying to yeah, say? Yeah. But I'm telling you, I felt a lot of the pains that a lot of us men deal with now or, or a lot of men deal with now. Yeah. So I speak so harshly because when you're in that dark place mentally, when you don't believe in yourself and you feel like you have no hope mm. and you don't know yourself, it has to be an aggressive pull. Mm. It has to be aggressive. If God did not stop every single thing that was happening in my life, everything that was good, everything that was everything, if he did not stop everything, he wouldn't have got my attention. Yeah. Because mm. I was distracted. That's true. Mm. Yeah, that it even gets to a point where you masturbate so much that you're, you're, de- you're done. You don't even want to masturbate. Like you're so, you're so <laughs> like, yeah, you're so like empty. Stop. He's already dead. Do you know what I mean? It's like, no, I don't want to do this anymore, man. Yeah, this is yeah, dead, yeah, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. But you got to that point, it's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. dark. Do you know what I mean? It's dark. It's dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of these men are doing this stuff because they're really lost. They really yeah. need love. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's like, it's, it's not a joke, bro. bro. Four weeks, 268 men killed. That's, that's 268 dads, mm. uncles, brothers, brothers sons. cousins, nephews. Yeah. Sons, mm. that's not a joke, bro. No, yeah. So we're dealing with real stuff. So when I come across people that tell me, "Yo, you need to say this in a nice way," <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. Don't let it be your uncle or your brother that exactly. dies before yeah. you understand how serious what I'm talking about is. Yeah, man, no, that's real. I'm bro. telling you, God changed my life. Yeah, like I'm telling you, He changed my life. Mm. Not just through fitness, but listen, that's just a vessel, it, bro. Like, yeah. That's that's just one way. I'm still yeah. a musician. Do you understand what I'm you trying to say? But you said you haven't played in time, innit? No, I haven't played in time. I need to get back to church, bro. But I need to find a real church that speaks the truth. Yeah. Not all of this religious and stuff, bro. Mm. If not, I'm going to open my own stuff like Kanye West did, bro. bro. <laughs> Can't bro. even lie to you. Bro, I, listen, we could have we could have been speaking for... Bro, it's <laughs> wow, For yeah, hours, bro. Fast, man, but honestly, bro. like, listen, another time, hope you get you back and... Yeah, definitely, man. Again, I might bro. even invite you guys on Pepper Talks, bro. Yeah, so yeah, 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 man. Let's talk about that quickly. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, what actually is Pepper Talks, like, if you were to sum it up? So Pepper Talks is transforming followers into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Okay. So when you watch that podcast, it could be on anything. 
Yeah, I'm, the, the aim of Pepper Talks, long and short, I don't want to give you guys a whole story, but mm. it's to reignite that flame within men. Mm. Uh. Every single guy that has lost his vision, lost hope, and feels like this life is done for him, and everything that he's always had and always been shown is who he is. Those men that find their identity in things that are outside of him rather than inside of him, I'm trying to change that perspective immediately. You see, a plant can only give birth to what's inside the plant. When you plant an apple tree, it can only give you apples. Mm. You can't plant an apple tree and get give and it gives birth to to oranges, yeah. or pears. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Mm. So how can what's outside of me tell me who I am? Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. 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 Moses was told he was a stutterer. Mm. Moses was told he couldn't lead men. Moses was told he was a murderer. Mm. And those are all the things that affected him from taking action on what God had actually called him to be. Yeah. God put a leader, a speaker, God's mouthpiece inside of Moses. And that's the only reason why he could instruct him to go and become a leader, which was by telling Pharaoh to let my people go. Yeah. So that's the whole aim of Pepper Talks, raw yeah. conversations yeah. across everything. Mindset, vision, purpose, fitness, and where did they find finances. That? At Pepper Talks UK mm. on Instagram, you can follow that there. Pepper Talks um, on YouTube, mm. it's all over. Just type in my name, Michael Pepper, you'll find me. Cool. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. yeah. Listen, cool. you heard it here first. It's episode sixty-eight once again of the Soul Changer podcast. You got Capo here, leader of the group. Versus here, Sam Sinko. I can one and only. We had Michael Pepper. Yo, love for love for coming on, bro. Appreciate you for real. Yeah, Come on, man. man. No problem, man. All right, keep definitely. You and our listeners, still changing the podcast. With Sam Sinclair, Chris Capo, and Akin. Keep it locked. Keep it locked.